Hey everybody, it's the last Robokai here, and it is time for uh, engaging in peace and diplomacy and making the world a better place for everybody. And to do that, we're going to be playing Total War Warhammer 3, where uh, diplomacy <laughs> doesn't matter and, and the violence is all uh, gore festival, because um, this is probably the biggest update for Total War Warhammer 3 uh, since it came out. Uh, it's added, as you can see by the little map on the right-hand side of my screen, uh, the entirety of all of the lands in all of the Total War Warhammer games uh, taped together. Well, not really taped together, it's actually a very well-crafted map. And um, and it is our goal to burn all of that to the ground. And we're doing that uh, as part of the new uh, Four Lord DLC that dropped, the Champions of Chaos. And, uh, and also on top of that, they also finally brought out the Blood for the Blood God uh, DLC, which... Uh, all the games have, and if you have one for at least one of those, uh, you'll have that for everybody, which means that now everyone will actually start violently dismembering one another, as it should be. Uh, for for I am uh, for I am playing as uh, as Valkyrie the Gore Queen, and um, it just wouldn't be right if she didn't like you know cut a guy cut a guy with her sword and him explode into gibbets. And as you can see, joining me, uh, leading the ever uh, the ever creepy legions of Slanesh is cool guy. I'm basically Ed, or not Ed McMahon, uh, Vince McMahon right, uh, right here, and I am going to enjoy every fucking second of it. You can sort of see his picture there, uh, Azazel. Uh, he 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 is here to cause problems, um, whereas I'm here to get very angry about problems. And you can kind of see um, where we've started are are a bit far away. Um, the way co-op works in um, <laughs> not Sigvald. No, 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 no. We're, 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 we're going to the new people, don't worry. Well, you know, we plenty of chance for, for Sigvald to have a go, but, like, we... we I, I was actually, honestly, really torn on playing Archeon. Like, I really want to play Archeon. <laughs> Archeon <laughs> looks really he's a, good he, now, he, and that he's is... He's a Dark Souls boss now. He's kind of scary. Difficult to say for yeah. Archeon, of all people, but he looks really good now. Oh, yeah, he's got, he's got style in spades and menace in droves. And, uh, yeah, like, so, like, to give you an idea of, like, the general space of this, um, this is where Cool Guy is, the little purple guy there, the Ecstatic Legions. They are in the middle of Norska, and that's the Empire right there. Like, right about here. That's how much space the, old, like, the Empire of Man takes up. I'm over here. This is where the Dark Hills live. So this is the, con the continent of Nagarond. And so just to give you just to give you a sort of an idea of just how absolutely like huge the landmass is, that's the entirety of Ulthwan. Uh Grand Cathay is over here. Uh this is the Southlands, this is the Badlands, and this is Lustria. And this is uh this is murderous Antarctica. And we're just gonna we're basically just because the game is actually a lot more free and open on co op in this regards, we're not so like beholden to need to actually have like direct lines to each other. For for co-op purposes, so we don't really need to do that, and so um, yeah, I, I cool guys in game one, and I'm in game two, and game three is like here. <laughs> Actually, game three also encompasses a little bit of this as well, so it's more like game three is like whoa. So uh, we might as well ready up and uh, and throw ourselves in. Let's rock. And let's uh, let's see what problems we can cause. We'll take a Strictly look. speaking, <laughs> I use diplomacy to cause problems, by the way. It's not that yeah. diplomacy doesn't exist, it's just that, you know, uh, like, like, I use it for all of the wrong reasons. Yeah, so we've got this wonderful, wonderful splash here with the, uh, with the four Chaos, uh, Chaos Champions that were added. Because the Warriors of Chaos just got completely revamped. It's actually insane. The Warriors of Chaos were originally a pre-order faction for the original Total War Warhammer game. And they, I, at first, they weren't even intended to be that. They were just supposed to be, like, a big threat that was going to roll on people. But they had time and they had inspiration, so they made more of it and they made them a pre-order race. And since then, they've just, they, they've sort of fallen way, way behind everybody else. And, um, and now you can sort of see, well, like, well, as you will see, they've, they've just been completely revamped. They've had, as part of this update, four as part of the paid DLC, and then one free lord was added, which was Bellacor. Who, uh, who, who is also a real dangerous character to play and to fight. I don't want to talk about Bellacor. As, 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 as a Zale, I don't want to talk about Bellacor. Bellacor is a problem looming near Cool Guy, and um, we don't get along. Chaos Champions don't confederate yet. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to take a moment to, um, so it, it's simultaneous turns are on, right? Uh, I can, 
I appear to be able to do things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Totally cool. Do let's just take. Let's just take a moment. Um, I'm just gonna take a moment to explain to everybody um how most of these campaigns start now. So the thing about like important thing to note here is this is the beta of a model empire, so it's not, it's not like the full like the full what it's not what Creative Assembly believe is like the full product. So we've got I've got Valkyr the bloody, and the way Chaos works now is Chaos Warriors is, is that they were originally a horde army, but now we've got these places on the map uh, known as Dark Fortresses. And if you take the Dark Fortress, you get like an actual proper location to rule and control. And any, like, uh, Norska factions that are uh, in that territory are instantly vassalized. So if I were to attack Dagrax's end and take it, the uh, the Hmong would instantly be vassalized. And so cool guy starting in the middle of Norska is going to be real fun for him because he's going to end up with, like, a lot of vassals. Um, oh. Yeah. And so the other thing is, is that you'll notice over here we've got these things called authority. Because I am a corn-only kind of character, I only have undivided authority and corn authority. Similarly, cool guy will only have undivided and slanesh. The more, like, different, like, skills, research, and even, like, added characters will change your, your authority on your lord. And it will, it will dictate just, like, how well your units of that particular Mark of Chaos work. Because now there's, like, Mark of Chaos variations of everything. Like, to give you an, to give you an idea, um, I'm just going to show you guys the unit upgrade stuff for a second here. But we won't go too deep into it now. But basically now, um, instead of, like, just disbanding a unit and buying a, a more upgraded version of it... Once you have the technology unlocked, you can take a Marauder unit and then turn them into Chaos Warriors. And then, at a certain, you know, after a bit more experience on the Chaos Warriors, you can turn them into Chosen. And after a bit more cho on Chosen, you can turn them into Aspiring Champions. And if the Aspiring Champions let you down, you can turn them into Chaos Spawn. Similarly, you can sidegrade them to, to Chaos Knights and things like that. You can also get Marauder Horsemen up to becoming Chariots and things like that. So there's, like, a lot you can do. But at the same time, there's also Chaos corn versions. So there are no aspiring champions of corn, uh, is probably the first thing you should note. Um, most researchers that are uh, for different gods that go to, um, that go to uh, like, aspiring champions, they're always undivided. They will get, like, they will still get those bonuses. So, yeah, we get Marauders of corn, uh, Chaos Warriors of corn, and Chosen of corn, and, like, there are sort of set armaments for them. Uh, as you can see, I don't really have any chosen that have any good like armor piercing or anything. I've just got regular dudes with swords and shields and dude with, dudes with two axes, but I've also got that from marauders and things like that. But they get anything that sort of benefits uh, a unit that has marks of corn gets that. And the other really cool thing is now is we don't have to build we don't have build times for um, for units. I can just go, uh, yeah, I would like a marauder and a chaos warhound unit, and I can an just option. buy them because the region the region grows them. So, you know, <laughs> and uh, they will replenish over over time up to their maximum. All right, let's get uh, let's get Cormac into the unit. And um, Cormac, interestingly enough, is actually from the Valkyr novels. Apparently, he's a dude that's only got one arm that follows her around like a little puppy. And then every single Chaos Lord has their own their own tree. So we'll start with um, we'll start with a sacrificial altar. For, cause for every active gift of corn, uh, which I will show off soon enough, uh, we get more authority, which will mean Fury more reduction to upkeep to and things like that. So, I think, yeah, I can't show off the Gifts of Chaos just yet, or the Eye of Gods yet. So, the only other thing we have to pay attention to when it comes to our, uh, our generic lords and heroes is Path to Glory. Which is that you can do certain feats to, to get bonuses for them, and at a certain point... Uh, you can expend our new currency of souls, which we get for winning battles and things like that, to devote the characters to the different, um, to different, like, gods. So, because I'm corn only, I will only ever be able to turn this guy to, to corn. And that will change the boons of chaos, and will turn him into, like, a different variation of the, of the hero. Because there are cha marked chaos lords and marked chaos heroes now as well. So, cool, I'll let Cool Guy go first for his turns, because he wants to fight and show off Aza uh, Azazel. Um, you might notice, I can't see him. We don't have a treaty. Like, I don't... You know, you all notice that? Can you, yeah, can, can you can you see this, by the way? I just, I just engaged the enemy. Yes, it's telling me, pending action, another player is initiating a battle. Attacker of the Ecstatic Legions, Defender of the Brotherhood of the Bear. And... Well, uh, yeah, like, like I can I can do a fight battle. Like, I, I'm hoping that mm. you that you can you can join and support. 
Yeah, we'll take a look. It might let me in. It's not a. It's not really just like telling me anything about it. So you might just be able to join and like let me do it, or I can watch. It won't really okay. Work either well, way. yeah. It, it, okay. Well, I'm. I'm gonna hit fight battle. Yep. So now I could. I can click the button join okay. team to join your team, or if I wanted to be a shitlord, if cool guy and I were like competing against each other, I could take control. Obviously. I'm going to to join the team. So there we go. Support this hacker. Cool, man. That that's that's sick. Like we haven't tested this before. Uh, before this. Um. Yeah. We did. We did it a little bit when we uh when it was you, me, and Soul just like bugging around with like the generic Warhammer. Oh yeah, I forgot stuff. that we did that for. And all I of, like, and like two you two minutes. teamed up, and I controlled the orcs just to see if like a lot of the orc mechanics were actually in place, and they were, which was kind of cool. But so much has happened with the Mortal Empire. Look at that face, by the way, everybody. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> I'm actually gonna give Azazel to uh to you. Um, oh god. So uh so so because you're the one <coughs> you're the one with the camera. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm gonna, Azazel. Yep, pretty much. I'm gonna uh... I'm gonna give uh, give you uh, give you all of the micro heavy u uh, units. Azazel be, uh, being one of them. Sure. Uh, and then I'll 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 use the general infantry. Um, the mana core and the warhounds. Here you go. Yeah, this is gonna go pretty uh, badly for these people. Oh yeah, no, but like they don't have a whole, they don't really have a prayer. Now where is my gift button? They've moved it. It's under the portrait. Uh, it's a little picture of a of a of a eye with an arrow. On the portrait and I ah yes here it is. Yeah, I should have just said bottom. Here you go. Right, so I got dogs. Uh, dogs can be vanguarded. I have, uh, I have Azazel. Here's Azazel's stats. As you can see, as a Slanesh unit, he doesn't have much in the way of armor. Uh, but he does have some spells to start with. Um, he's a commander, so everyone around him likes it. He, as all Slanesh units, all Mark Slanesh units, just walk through terrain like it's not there. Uh, if he charges an enemy on the flank or rear, um, he, he, they die. Um, like, he does really well on that. He can fly, um, because that's, like, another really kind of cool thing, is that I could just choose to put him on the ground, or I can put him in the sky. Like, that's something that they've added. So that's, that's really nice. The Mark of Slanesh, you know, as you can see, this is all the traits. Physical resistance, immune to psychology, strider, and increased speed. Um, enemies around me, um, who have, uh, who, like, have... Like, just basically enemies around me will lose, like, the ability to fight as well. And, uh, and my aura, um, also, uh, as I, as I kill enemies, uh, over time. Oh no, it in fact increases with each unit in range with leadership wavering or lower. Yeah, so basically the more, if we freak people out, the worse they fight. And the only, uh, of all the four Chaos Champions, uh, Azazel is the only one that actually starts as a Demon Prince. Um, the rest do not. So let me just get the Manticore in position over here as well. And actually not put the dogs immediately in danger. Uh... I'm all set to go. Like, I basically yep. ju I just have have two fronts of infantry and some hell striders, which yep. are ba uh, basically just just uh, mounted du uh, dudes with uh, with with slaneshi whips. Yeah, I'm re I'm ready when you are. Let's start this. Let's light this candle. Azazel, prince of damnation. So let's let's send him in. Can I run around there? No, I can't. They're just gonna wait there, aren't they? So that's that's cavalry. The damned oh yeah, the dervishes. Yeah, yeah they're uh, they're they're not they're not go uh, going to deal with the chosen that I uh, that I have over here very well. With the good Lamau. So here's Azazel. Uh, I can never remember the button for like removing the uh, the thing, but you can you can see here he's uh. He's a sexy boy. Hello, sexy boy. And he's got like two little, two little snakes on his back. Well, he's gotta be careful with the, with the forces of Kislev because they do have, um, they do have like mixed range. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm spreading out my, my infantry. So just so, uh, so the Kosars don't, uh, don't tear them to pieces. There we go. Yeah, Kassars have got pistols and axes. Those boys got pistols and axes. Moving. See 
Hell scourges are tightening the noose. Right, lowering the capability of those guys to fight. So I'm sending him up there, and then. Well, if you're gonna stand there by yourself over there, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna azazel you. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna like charge in and say hello. Yeah, nope, it's too late, buddy. It's too late. <laughs> you've made a you've made now a you fucked up. You've made a grave mistake. Fucked up. The demon blade thirsts. And They've charged me, but that's okay. Like, like, yeah, look. they're about to get charged in return. All right, well, that ended up really poorly for those dervishes. Yeah, no, scroll, scroll lock doesn't remove the UA. I, I always forget to check this every time. Hey, don't run. Don't run. <laughs> he tried to run the manticore, just, just like hip checked him straight back in. I saw that crap. Oh, you're the best boy, best boy, big pets for Manticore. I don't even see where he is anymore. I think he's gonna get eaten by your dudes. Give him the big kill, give him the big kill. Short mission, good mission. Yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of blood everywhere. Um, it might remember be set when, to like... Uh, when the, remember when Kislev wanted to use bear cavalry? <laughs> <laughs> so just getting eaten by dogs. Sixy boy. Come on, dude, just die. Alright, that's that. Is there anyone left? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is exactly one one group left. All right. Then. Well, I guess we might as well run them down with dogs. Yeah, let's um, fast forward this. <laughs> the big murder chew. And there we go. All right. Well, that's that. Yeah. So there we go. Killed by strutting. <laughs> 24 kills, yeah. All right, I do have a, I do have a follow up because I actually don't start in control yes, of the settlement. That's the other thing, is that uh, neither of us do. I'm gonna go ahead and auto resolve that one. Yeah. Settlement settlement it's... fights are okay in this game, but they are a bit time consuming and uh and ultimately. And also uh, yeah. like the primary reason why we were doing that was to give uh, give people a good look at Azazel's strut, which <laughs> we just got. Yeah. Like, honestly, he's got, like, some hilarious poses if we put him on the ground. Like, he, like, he, he sort of, sort of flexes and, like, you know, gives a little bit of come hitters and things like that. He's kind of, he's got this one attack animation for when he kills someone where he basically just drags them to the sky and just lazily floats around while they're dangling from his snake tails before he, like, throws them in the air and just, like, spears them on his sword. He's so funny. He's, he's, he's pr pretty much one of the most funny, uh, in terms of animations. But it is because he is a glorious seducer. So you got an obsidian amulet. Nice. Yeah. Let's do that follow up and auto resolve. Thank you very much. Yep, and he's a winner. Occupy and vassalize. All right. Well, I'll just take a moment now to do my thing, like a like a like a corn machine, because obviously, um, I got I got the boys that slaughter, and we've got the elves. So my army is kind of interesting. I've got. Um, I've got chosen war like Chaos Warriors of Corn, some Marauders of Corn, uh, and, uh, Skull Crushers, so dudes riding uh, what appears to be um, Juggernauts, and then some dogs. So uh, we already very vastly uh, outdo this army thanks to my ability to like buy units beforehand. So um, <laughs> they've got a they've got an all right setup, but um, Valkia is uh, is gonna have a lot of fun with this. I'm just gonna quick save in case I absolutely beef this fight somehow or it crashes. Yeah. Should be a pretty big gimme, but whatever. Yeah, okay, feel free to join on. Well, yeah, I'll join on. I'll join I'll join you and I'll I'll take care of the uh I'll take care of uh, care of the front line while you do all of the micro heavy stuff that's really flashy. Yeah. 
So like one of so like one of the nice advantages is I get to start with a hero, and we will get him to the mark of corn as quickly as possible. UI off is K. Thank you. <laughs> I, I always forget to look it up before I start because I'm an idiot. I'm just like the biggest of goofs. Legion of the Gore Queen. I, I like I, I like Valkyr. Val Valkyr is just like all mad all the time. It also occurs to me based on her armor and everything like that. Remember when I played Man of War and how the one female like character just looked really really fucking weird? Well, it was kind of like yeah. a really, like, really, like, scuffy Valkyrie. <laughs> Alright, well, I will give you command of my legions of, um, of other guy. There we go. And I will, uh, I might give you, I might give you my champion, my, 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 he my hero as well, since he's like, he's a hoofer. He, he runs around on his feet. Whereas I got... Hi, melee specialist, got it. Yeah, he's just gonna, you know, yeah. just send him in, and he'll he'll do he'll do big kill. Yeah, there's there's no there's no reason for uh, for me to get fancy with uh, with this lineup that you've given me. Yeah, it's basically run at enemy, give enemy uh, axe to skull, horn dot txt. Yeah, and K does in fact bring the uh, the UA down down. So let's just take a let's take a quick look at Valkyrie here. See if we can get a good look at her while she's uh while she's doing her thing. She's got a uh, she's got a shield of Slanesh there. I accidentally just deployed a unit. Whatever. They're probably chasing the wrong way. But Ooh, yeah, she's some uh, crap. Yeah, she's uh, she's hanging out in the sky. She's gonna it's gonna make it very hard for me to look at her. Well, that's okay. We'll get we'll get stuck in the battle and then we'll get to see her animations. All right. Well, uh, I'm ready if you are. So we might as get well it. get uh, might as well get killing. Here I go, killing Lost again. So I'm just gonna like beeline. Or, I'm gonna beeline Valkyrie straight for the enemy. A prize for the one who collects him the most skulls. A prize for the one who collects him the most skulls. I'm just basically just gonna like send her in and probably get her killed immediately, but that's okay. Bring it down. <laughs> They're even gonna like start I like shooting. They, yeah, I, li I like how the, uh, those spears got uh, like immediately got I uh, got. Uh, Got a buff that uh, that exhausted them a little bit, like well before anything could happen. Awesome! Check out those hand bows hitting exactly nothing. So anyway, that's Valkyrie. She is taking a little bit of damage, but she's also distracting the entirety of the enemy line right now. Uh, those guys are being eaten by dogs. I don't even, like... Try to throw something at, uh, at the Marauders, but they like completely beefed it because I like, I didn't see what it was before they st uh, before it, it missed. You're gonna hate it when they get there, lady. Hello. Just sending the hero, uh, the hero straight in on, uh, on the enemy wizard. And now I can just do the horn of war right directly on Pokio. Just completely enveloped in this pocket. <laughs> I like how you recreate her announcement video just getting piled on by dudes. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you, you know, she makes an excellent distraction. Folded the entirety of the enemy's lines uh, so that they were all looking at her instead. And uh, is she has actually managed to carve a circle out in the enemy. They do not want any of her, which is so great. And, uh, it was enough for, uh, for me to get the uh, the hero on uh, onto the wizard, and once the hero got uh, like got on the wizard, like the wizard just 
the wizard just disappeared. Like, her health just vanished. Everything's shattered. Like, what what do, what do they have that's keeping They're this stuck. from ending? They're stuck. That's why. They're trying to, like, pathfind. They can't pathfind out. Even Valkyrie's just like... Like, like they, they, they're trying to leave, but they can't. They can't leave. They're surrounded. Like, this is <laughs> this is going to be a slaughter to the last elf. Whee! Valky's just like, okay, I'm out. Kill that guy. Kill that lady. Descend upon her. Splat. <laughs> she just landed on her. Oh, my God. She she seriously just sat on that chick. She basically just, just, she just stepped. All right, hit hit the rest of them, Valkyrie. Don't like, don't 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 stop. Just keep on killing. I won't die here, says man. About to die here. Yeah. This fight is lost. Yeah, yeah. That that happened like four minutes ago, pal. <laughs> Yeah, they're just they're using their mass to slowly push out, and it's uh, you know, and eventually they'll just get run down. I mean, there's still a whole a whole bunch of a whole bunch of random chaos warriors that have not had a chance to do anything yet. Yeah, they're just like running circuits. Valkyrie just fucking Valkyrie just like created like a tiny oh, little man. Cube the about skull her. crushers got off the leash, and I let the dogs out too. You know, if anyone was asking who let the dogs out, that uh, was me. It was definitely you. I you, did, I you, did you. in fact. There was a dog releasing and I was responsible for it. Okay, well, that was definitely one of the most brutal uh, brutal and systemic slaughters that I've uh, I've seen in this game for quite a while. Yeah, let's speed it up a bit so that everyone gets the Yeah, gets like, like we're pretty we're pretty clear on what's happening here. Okay, we just gotta let, let everyone run everyone down. Because I like getting Valkyrie as many kills as possible, because she deserves it. it yeah, well, it, it, all, it also, do, uh, does, it also do, uh, does relate to some of the trade unlocks, particularly for corn. so... Yeah, we gotta kill, like, 2,000 people in a battle if we want to, like, get some it's important. stuff. It's important. God, those skull crushers. <laughs> Look at them go. Brrr. Skull crusher goes brr. Okay, well, uh, dead elf, dead elf, dead elf, dead elf, dead elf, and you get the idea. Yeah. And I think there's like one dead elf left on the battlefield. He's just r continually running into the crushes. Oh no, there's, there's some more. Well, they're about to leave. Alright, well, let's end the battle. Alright, there. So yeah, that was, that's Valkyrie. <laughs> that's Valkyrie 86 oh, dead. <laughs> Losses 35 versus losses 506. All right, cool. Yeah, so, um, you know, that shouldn't shouldn't really come as a surprise. Valky is, uh, Valky is quite a strong lord when it comes down to it. Oh, dear. Just corn things. It's the skull crushers as, w uh, as well. Like, friggin' 99 kills. I really like blood crushers, actually, which is kind of funny. Like, the entire concept of being a blood crusher. It's just like what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, that's a really dumb name, and I I choose not. To, uh, <laughs> we're we're not calling to them skull it. crushers now. Fuck you, Games Workshop. I say out I mean, my window. Yeah, that's what that's what the game that's what the game's tool tips was calling them. So you know, maybe I've misread. Them. Maybe blood crushers are the ones that are like different. I don't know. But what what matters is is we Doesn't we matter. we gave them we gave them the big slap, and so we could choose to kill the captives for experience. Uh, replenish my army uh, back to full, or uh, burn them up for souls. And I'm probably just gonna burn them up for souls. Accept death as a blessing. And there we go. And as a result of that, we just got more melee defense and missile resistance for Valkyrie. So I can you can probably guess what she's going Valkyrie to be doing in my battles. That again forever. <laughs> that <laughs> again forever. So we're gonna give her Hearts of Iron. Uh, firstly, Route Marcher to make her a little bit faster. They nerfed that down from the original, uh, down to that. Um, it's funny, it's like Slanesh Authority, plus two. Like, it's like, I don't think I'll ever have a Slanesh unit in my army, but thanks for asking. 
And then we've got a uh, Hearts of Iron, which is going to reduce the vigor loss for my army, which is good. Because if they're going to have to run up the entire end of the battlefield, so that they can, um... <laughs> so they can, like, catch up to him, which he gets into a fight with the entire enemy army. And, of course, um... You know, Cormac, that's cool and all. Cormac's cool and all, but like, but what if Blimlin was the guy with one arm who was following um, Valkyr around all the time? I was wondering when he'd show back up. I knew it was going to happen. It's a tradition. And we'll set him to training just to get everybody nice and buff. Like, tradition. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> also, uh, something I... <laughs> something I can't do until we take Dagrax end. So let's go take Dagrax end real quick. It'll be a close victory, but as you can see on the order of resolve, I don't lose any units. It's funny they call it a close victory when um, I think the only reason it might be a close victory is I think Valkyrie might be like low on health. Violence so let's just order resolve that, yeah. But she'll get that back. Fucking Blimlin. Don't matter. <laughs> Hundred kills. Okay. None of this matters. The fucking the fucking oh they are the skull crushers. Two hundred and forty six uh, kills on the skull crushers in order of resolve. Okay. They'll, they'll get that pretty quickly. So let's occupy this and vassalize You're everyone. Now. You're my people now. And what this does is, as I said before, the Hmong are now immediately my vassals. They are immediately now my vassals. <laughs> Valkyrie in the trailer gets owned by normal Chaos Warriors. Valkyrie in-game crashes down like an assault marine, murders a ton of elves. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> we call that, uh, we call that one Blood Rain. So, you know, let's level her up again. And so, this time, I'm going to give her... I'm going to actually go along the blue tree until her rank 12, when her actual, like, proper tree busts open. And she starts getting all that fun stuff. Because what I want to do is I want to get... Um, I want to get recruitment costs down. Because corn's economy is never good. I want to get, like post income loot and a few things, but mostly I want to get driven by range, which will, uh, by rage, which will just give me lots of extra money, campaign movement, and souls from battle. But I will, like, I will get along and get these as well when they come up, because that's just, like, I mean, god, like, some of this stuff here is really, really good. <laughs> like, physical resistance, ambush chance, defense chance, income from battle, and things like that. They're all really good things. Yeah, so oops, I should be healing up. So I'm gonna go with serve or die to re reduce my recruitment costs. That's what I went. I went with my first couple of a uh, uh, couple of points as well. Yeah, and it, it is worth noting, um, like as you can see, like everybody, st every hero, like of a different faction, will start with like like the different sort of authorities. So in this particular case, because I have uh, Blimlin in my army. I have bonuses to uh, to undivided authority, which means all the regular generic guys will get better boosts and things like that too. So let's just go with Blade Master for now, um, and also um, the Shield of Tolos is already on on Valkyr, so we'll put the Enchanted Shield on uh, on Blimlin, which is going to be real funny when he's no longer able to wield wield a shield. And so we can go into our buildings and see. Now we've got this Dark Fortress, we can we can build neat stuff. So let's build a Corpse Mound. And I'm going to build raid trophies for the money. And the reason why I'm not building a uh, one of the... We'll take a look at the building browser here. The reason I'm not building the tribal garrison thing just yet is simply because I'm not going to be spending much time in this territory at all. I've already conquered it. So my, I'm going to be mostly recruiting outside of this local region as I keep going to build my forces up. But if I build a new army, this will be good for, for me. This will be good for me. But until then, there's not really a need for it. Also, every time you upgrade these buildings, it gives you like actual like more more people to guard it. So once you have enough buildings, like this place actually becomes like very very hard for enemies to crack into. And because I control the area with vassals, I can also set my authority here. So I can foster cults here. So minus ten construction for all building corn corruption adjacent uh, provinces will go up as will corn corruption. I definitely want that. Also, it should be noted that the, the I believe, um, my little buddies here now will have Frenzy as part of my thing with Valkyrie. Yeah, see, all the, all the Hmong, will, as, because they're my vassals, will now also get, um, Frenzy, which is really good. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of redonkulous. And the last thing we unlocked, that's worth mentioning, is the Gifts of Chaos. So, I've got two slots available right now. To unlock more slots, um, I have to unlock them via the technology tree. Um, obviously, because I am corn, 
uh, exclusively. I can only get the little undivided ones in the in, in here, or or big corn ones. So big corn ones, we've got like blessing of blood, and they all have a soul upkeep. They have a cost to implement, which is five hundred, and then they have an upkeep of fifty. Are we renaming this stronghold to Ohio? I was actually, I was like, I was definitely like, can I get away with like, can I get away with just doing that again? Will like, or will people roll their eyes? But since since it's been requested, I'm gonna go one better. Actually, Butcher, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something that's gonna make you simultaneously flip your shit and, and poo your pants. So what I might do for corn for now, because it's like it's really tempting, because I could, firstly, I could set it up so that I just get blood letters to recruit, and with my corn authority, they'd be relatively cheap. Or I could get flesh hounds of corn, who are a pretty nice unit. Or I could get, you know, eventually later I'll be able to, once I've like, like locked enough souls on it, I'll be able to like, like if I once I get like a thousand souls or whatever, like through sacrifice or whatever through a ritual, I'll be able to unlock those things. But I'm thinking post income, death's bounty is probably a good one. So I'm gonna do that. So there we go. That'll be added next turn. Uh, it'll take minus fifty off that. Now, I've also got this, so I could add it so that Chaos Furies get added to my thing, or Raiders Raiment, which would boost all of my, boost all of my, my Norskin boys, my Marauders, so I'm gonna get that, gonna put that in, I can remove them if the upkeep starts draining me too dry, and I want gifts, and so we'll just do that for now. And oh no like, no 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 book a uh, book thief! I have a I have a completely di a different gimmick for the pl uh, the place that I took. You're not gonna be able to see it ju uh, just yet, but uh, one of the first things I'm going to be doing is working my uh, my way uh, my way to the coast because there's a co uh, there's a couple of Norsk fa uh, factions that if I move quickly, they're not too bad uh, too bad to uh, to subjugate. But if I dilly dally, it takes a long uh, it can be a very grueling fight. So I do have a uh, I do have I have an Ohio equivalent, but uh, you, you'll you'll see it in a couple of turns. I've just revealed to chat the most conv like the most cursed secret about Total War Warhammer Three. A lot of people are probably not aware of, and uh, cool. and you will not see it uh, just yet either. Uh, so let's just call this. There we go. Okay. Right, we're getting we're getting we're getting the Ohio meme going again <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> so um, hey, uh, cool guy, mouse over my name in the thing. Oh no, it has it hasn't adjusted it yet. Let's end turn. Okay, I'm gonna end my turn. All and right. you you can end your turn when you're ready. So now yeah, we sit ba now we sit back and we wait uh, an hour. Just kidding. It's actually fairly well optimized. So even though the game has like like 276 factions, 276 factions, factions. Th that number is going to drop quite dramatically because uh, a lot of factions it's... are going to get like cut out of the game as time goes on. Yeah, no, it, it, it's kind of cathartic these first couple of turns where you're just you're just sort of, uh, sort of like man, that's a lot a lot of people. And then probably by turn 10 or so, that'll be like 240 or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, it just went down. It just went down again. You know, like, like, like yeah, we're killing people over here. <laughs> I'm curious if someone explain the Ohio meme to me. Um, cool guy was telling the Discord a few, like, like two, three weeks ago about how those, like, people from Ohio were just, like, a different breed of people oh, no. and things that happened in Ohio were just a different breed of, like, thing happening. And uh, and it en and it ended up just like being a story about a guy driving past somebody who was also from Ohio, screaming Ohio at, at one like at one another out of the I, I can, I can and tell, waving I can a hammer. I can tell the story again real quick if you want. Yeah, if you want, if you want to tell well, the story, it, go yeah, for it. it'll only take me a second. Okay, so um, I'm gonna give I'll give you the slightly abbreviated ver uh, version. If you want the if you want it want the story as I originally told it. Uh, it's pinned in the Discord on uh, in the lounge, but uh, so when I was in college, I lived with a dude, a dude named Nate, and he was from uh, he was from Ohio, and I would get a ride home with him every two weeks, basically you know to go uh, to to like uh, like get my um, get my laundry done, see my family, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And already you know like, like he had a habit of driving literally a hundred miles an hour on the freeway from Manhattan, Kansas, back, uh, back to Kansas City. And I had that fight with him. I'd lost it. So I was, I was just like, okay, fine. I'd just resolve to sleep. Which in and of itself is is utterly insane. But, you know, whatever. Uh, so we... And, and on our way back, like, uh, like I abruptly wake up to this guy yelling, Who 
wrong with you? Oh, I'm just like, what the hell is going on? And, and so I'm, I'm waking up from this, like, half-sleep that, uh, that, uh, that I'm in. And the guy in front of us, like, the car in front of us, has Ohio license plate. So he, he like, cuts acro uh, across. Uh, like, like, it's, like, insanely dangerous to do this. But he just pulls up right, uh, right next to the guy because it's only a two-lane uh, two highway. Um, the hell? Oh, yeah. Um, sorry, I had a, I had a vassal thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the, so the, it's only a two, a two lane highway and he, uh, he's, and he reaches down to the floorboard and oh, my hand to God to comes away with a claw hammer. Where exactly the man, uh, the man found a, uh, why, he, why did he have a claw hammer next to his, uh, like, like next to the driver's seat? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't have the slightest clue. You just renamed your entire faction, Ohio. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the uh, that's the forbidden knowledge but, I was talking about. Not too many people know that you can actually just rename your entire faction. <laughs> Incredible, but yes, yeah, so like, like this guy, this guy pulls up a claw hammer and starts waving oh, it dominance. around, yeah. like, of like just outside. He rolls down the window, and I remind you, we're going Mr. almost a hundred miles an hour, and he's waving it outside the driver's side window, screaming, "Ohio!" And finally, the guy, uh, like the the other guy, sees what's going on, looks over, and gets this huge game grin on his face, and just waves and goes and yells back, "Ohio!" And then, that was it. He just uh, like he was satisfied. He blew past this guy, and we never spoke of it again. And th this is this is just what happens in Ohio. Ohio has problems. Like 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 I I, I, I am well on record of just letting people be people. And understanding that things are di are different in places, blah 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 blah. But there is something wrong with Ohio, okay? There's <laughs> something wrong with Ohio. For the record, I also named my uh, my dark fortress Ohio Prime. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to anybody watching from Ohio. We think you're the uh, you're thinking the real version of like Champions of Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> You're Nobody right. believes us people from Detroit when we shit on Ohio. We know. We know. <laughs> yep, we've got an Ohio native in chat. Can confirm. It's exactly like that, apparently. <laughs> Here we go. So so there we go. So plus one authority for each active gift of corn, which boosts my, my authority up a little further. Because um, I've got like a gift of corn activated. Ah, oh, God. So technology-wise, I'm thinking I might continue on towards Scarred Wings. Like, and the reason why I might do that is just because once I hit Scarred Wings, um, although the Blade of Corn seems like it'd be a really good one too, because I, at, at some point I need to, um, like, I need to, like, start pushing on these ones as well, because it allows me to, like, turn dudes into, like, other things as well. Also, like, Infernal March is a pretty good one, so what I might do is I might get Scarred Wings... So we're going to go up through Mortal Brutality, which will boost plus 5 weapon strength for each active Gift of Corn, uh, and then give me more movement range after I win a battle. And then we'll go back and get Infernal March, so we can further boost our, our movement. Um, it's, all, it's, all about the, uh, it's all about the go fast. There's, a lot, there's actually like a lot of things to, like, to, to mess around with here. And eventually we'll have capacity to like have Bloodthirsters in our army, which is going to be fun! Let me tell you something, friends. All right. Well, my army's still doing pretty good. Um, unfortunately, there's just not enough like t killing to do right now. And and uh, also, it is worth noting. I will note this for everybody. Um, you notice uh, the non-dark fortress locations um, are like wood elf places in that you can only really build one building in them. And in this particular case, I just built a building that will do replenishment in the army in the local area, because yeah, like that's 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 good for for oh, what, what we're going to be doing. Um, you know, if we we want to take, uh, and you want to take into input settlements on places like Grond there, because goal any resource basically like wine or whatever. That's a uh, that's the greenskins there. I hope they do okay. It's always nice to see um, like Sporkticus over there doing his thing. Um, they will have like faction wide bonuses for us. It's not like we can still do trade and stuff with like the Norskins or whatever, but it's just like that's its like primary function. 
So yeah, on a we related are... note, like, of like I just of like I just wiped out my like my initial enemy over here. Yeah. And I also ca uh, captured the bay uh, the Bay of Blades, but um, precisely because of what of what Robokai was talking about, how it's not that much use to me. I like I actually have the uh, the opportunity to just gift it to uh, to my vassal, which yeah. is which is what uh, what uh, what I did. It's way more useful for my vassal than it is for me. If it doesn't have a resource, um, it's not really that useful to you. I'm grabbing them here because um, it helps me with my campaign because Dark Elves lands are pretty expensive, and apparently the Hmong don't claim any of these lands, so I can't give it to them. Like, it also has to be part of their claim. I'm sort of eyeing off the Orcs right now because they've got wine, and I'm pretty sure wine boosts the shit out of Marauders. So, uh... <laughs> well, High Elf will turn his nose up at it. Bretonian wine is said to be the best, although the southern wineries of the Empire are now challenging its prominence. Well, we're that's that's we're we're not we're not in that region. They might want to update that blip a little. <laughs> My favorite thing about the gold mines in uh, in in Tobol Warhammer Three, you can tell the monk to claim them. Yeah, I can tell the monk to go and get them, but at the same time, it's like I can build a building there that'll give me replenishment while I'm running around slapping things here. So I don't particularly mind. They're not like entirely worthless. Um, they boost casualty, casualty replenishment rate and corn corruption in area, which really advan like it's an advantage for me as well. So it's not it's not all it's not all indifferent news. It's actually it's actually kind of handy. I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be pretty hands off with my vassals because I don't really get much out of them aside from like you know I can tell them to to do stuff, and I can actually get like lots of dilemmas involving my vassals, uh, that'll like it buff up like characters within them and things like that. But that's just like. You know, I don't put much hope in the AI at the moment. <laughs> so, Blimlon's got a horse now. He leveled up and got a horse, which is good. There which means I need to give blood. him... When he hits 5, the game will allow me to turn him into a corn boy. And so, let's give him Devastating Charge, because obviously he is on a horse. The slaughter begins. The slaughter begins. And on that note, the chill road is God, next. Unrelenting murder. So get ourselves a little bit of that, and we'll occupy it again. Conquest. And as you can see, like you can, you can also like um, make it so that you're in the area. Um, you can uh, you can even unlock the access to like exalted heroes and things like that as well. Uh, for this one, I think we'll give it the twisted relic. So um, that way, when I'm fighting in regions adjacent to this one, I've also got a chance to get more, uh, get more magical items, because beefing up my dudes with magical items order. would be nice. Uh, let's keep going with serve or die. Armaments worth your call. Yeah, I anything I can recruit here. I've got some Marauder Horsemen, which is really good, because they are excellent harassing an units. Now, over here, Ohio Prime can level up further, so we'll do that as well. <clears throat> <laughs> Valkyrie auto declaring war on anybody who walks away, from, like who runs away from battles Mistress that she's in. She chase them down for sure. She wouldn't be very happy about them and their shenaniganry. So that's Valkyrie's got a good, good spot there. So let's, like, um, this is not the best thing for bloodletting, but get, having bonus authority and corruption just generally around her at the very least is good. Grond is probably gonna be a siege. <laughs> Grand is probably going to be a siege, which is which is unfortunate because I really I don't get a huge amount of time before like everybody around me starts getting mad at me. I did like 13 turns just by myself and Grombendal, eventually like the White Dwarf, who has moved into the area and uh, and wants to slap Malekith. He's eventually going to notice me and get mad. Um, Hellebron has just kicked the backside of the orcs that were over there, and she's going to declare war on me pretty quickly too. Unfortunately. Can I? Oh, come on. I'm just gonna make like a full big stack of these. Let's get. Let's run in here and see what carnage we can cause. Yeah, so it's a siege, so we can't really do anything right now. I'm gonna do that thing cool guy always finds really annoying. And we'll just continue that siege. And. I'm guessing. Like, see, these regions around here, the Hmong is all for. I can virtually guarantee you there's Skaven in them, our hills. Um, and I don't really want to pick a fight with Skaven while I'm dealing with all the rest of this nonsense. So it's going to be like three turns before that's ready. 
this. Yeah, we've got a guy back in Ohio Prime just waving a claw hammer from the from the parapets to scare everyone away. That's bas that's basically the plan. Another thing sort of of note is that like because because That's they're our funny. vassals, they've built an outpost in my um like one of the nice things actually is the Hmong have built an outpost in my territory as well. I should probably point that out as well. And so as a result of that, I think it gives me a little bit more garrison as well. Uh, and they can hire they can recruit units from me, which doesn't really yeah, see I get a I get a spearman and two great weapons out of that. So that's great. Like <laughs> the more the more people I befriend and the outposts they build in my territories, the better. So I'm still building. Oh, that's right, because haven't, we haven't like finished the turn. I, for some reason, I thought we were in the next turn. My brain is already starting to enter like, like next ne next turn mode. Like I've hit next turn, and my brain goes, "Okay, now we're waiting for my turn to end." <clears throat> right. So, all right. All right. So yeah, look at that. Look at that I'm place. Just... Doesn't it look like we've done a really good architectural work, everybody? <laughs> that looks like Ohio. That's an Ohio-style building. <laughs> I've never seen a picture of a building in Ohio before. <laughs> I'm just gonna... That's to your benefit. <laughs> God. So which faction is from Minnesota? <laughs> I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave all the list to cool guy because honestly, like, I don't really even know that much uh, like, about. Half, like my father's entire side of the family is from uh, is from uh, from Minnesota. So I like like I'm I'm well aware of of how how things work in that area qu uh, quite a bit. <laughs> People are saying Norska. <laughs> So, people yeah, are saying Norska. 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 <laughs> yeah, like, like I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong, and uh, there's de there's definitely a thing that uh, that uh, that uh, that I've that I, I've got cooking that uh, that will that will amuse the shit out of people. God, we just lost four factions over that turn. Violence and death. Like four factions are gone now. Yep, and sounds you, right. And you've got a dilemma. <laughs> Is everyone, uh, is everyone misbehaving? Spill blood for corn. No, like, like this that, that was a that was a good dilemma. Well, apparently, uh, everyone in my army is just like a little bit bummed out and doesn't want to like deal with it, which is real weird. So this will be a pyrrhic victory, but I won't lose any units, and I don't like doing settlement battles, so we're just gonna like auto resolve that. <laughs> yeah, say everyone's fine. We're doing an awful lot of auto resolving, but on, uh, but honestly, honestly, that is, that is is how a lot of uh, total Warhammer stuff goes if you're playing it right. Like obviously, the uh, the harder the difficulty you play it on, the the more uh, like, like the uh, the the fewer that you auto resolve. But that's because you know the harder the difficulty, the few uh, like the more yeah. the more battles are actually impactful. They upgraded Siege. Yeah, Sieges in Total Warhammer 3 are different, and also, like, minor settlements now have their own sort of, like, take-and-hold battle maps. Uh, but first, let's turn Blimlin... My ascension is assured! ...into a exalted hero of Khorne. Look at him. Look at this glorious... Look at that glorious hat. Like, the little skull squeezed between his ridiculous head fins has a top knot. <laughs> I feel like that's something that just needs to be needs to be pointed out. So, what are the quirks of uh, throwing your buddy up? As I said, you uh, you lose um, you lose your original like uh, like selection of boons, and your character d levels by half. Um, the cost of uh, the cost of that goes down, like of souls goes down the high level your character is. So it's because it's like a bit of a trade off there. And um, yeah, so now uh, even though he still has an enchanted shield. Uh, he has two axes, so his entire thing now, and he has frenzy uh, now, and he also has like a mark of corn. Uh, he's gonna be, he's gonna be, he's gonna be great. He's gonna be berserko. He's gonna be like cutting and hacking and whacking and slashing. And uh, Grond, Grond, stop that me. Yeah. So Grond belongs to us, and because Grond has a gold mine, I can build a cultist camp there, and that will increase corn corruption in uh, all regions. So all the regions I own, I believe it is, will get increased corn corruption. And I believe that also counts for uh, for my vassals. So the more ter ter territory they own as well, like, and the more corruption that spreads into other areas, uh, you know, the the more uh, more general, like, just, more ge just general corruption, I'm just going to be able to, like, spread around. It's so good. The and the better my troops will perform in those areas. So... 
Now I've got so, like, some difficult questions here. Do I want more money from raiding? Increased experience from fighting new forces of order is kind of useless for me right now because I'm not going to be facing any of them for a very long time. Um... And ruination, so like attrition suffered by the defender is increased. I'm not probably. I'm probably going to go with the spoilers, just for the raiding buff, and because I don't really, like, I don't really care. Like, I'm going to be moving into into here, and I'm going to be boosting my my like the, the 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 post battle loot, and the and the and the gallopot. Lightning strike is is okay, um, but it's quite an investment, and I don't really I don't really think I need it <laughs> for for cord. Greater killing ability. Indeed. I'm still going for it. Console like, yeah, it's core. it's a bit it's a big investment, but don't, but like the end of the blue line is still really really good at least for uh, for Slanesh. Like like for me, it's campaign movement pl uh, plus five percent, souls gained from battle plus ten percent, income from post battle loot plus ten percent, and just a flat plus uh, plus one for Slaneshi cor uh, corruption. Like, dang. So I like I can either go uh, go for lightning strike or I could, I guess I guess I could get another six percent on casualty replenishment rate, but you know like, of, like I don't know I've 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 lost or I've won <laughs> so many battles <laughs> yeah. because of lightning strike. Yeah, like lightning strike lightning strike is really really good, but at the same time I'm just like I'm gonna get the ones that give her movement bonus. Uh, and eventually, and eventually, I hope I will just have enough of a horde. It won't matter because now, like, I don't have to worry about that sort of thing nearly as much. Well, it looks like a uh, Spoketicus is still alive, so that's good. Kill for corn as I do, and you will get your just rewards. So the Mung are all up in my business. They want to know what's up. They want a trade agreement, and they're willing to give me money for the trade agreement. So I'm going to accept that. Yeah, so there we go. And to get my uh, my first war gear thing, I'm going to have to just win eight battles, which is fine. Now uh, my weapon strength uh, for all of my units is now Sword boosted, the blood god. which is good um, for for all active gifts of corns. So I've got one, so I've got like a bonus of five percent. And uh, minus twenty five percent souls cost to devote to corn. Uh, probably should have held off on doing Blimlin before that, huh? Oh well. Uh, the great are the great arena awaits. Let's just go, let's go Wrath. Let's go Wrath this, these fools. Unrelenting murder. Okay, there's not really much point on that one. There's so few people this there. It's like... Property of the Gore Queen. There we go. And uh, I have unlocked a Path, path of Glory uh, for uh, for Blimlin, because one of those what did involve, um, and, I, and I have removed Mistress Gone from the game. One of his Paths to Glory, uh, which, is, uh, which is kind of great, yeah, now that I've activated it by by achieving this is uh, Vanguard deployment for Juggernaut mounts and Skull Crusher units. Um, so like that Skull Crusher unit I've got uh, now ha he can like will now have Vanguard deployment can deploy with the dogs further up and cause problems, which is fantastic to say the least. Um, so I've got some choices for here, and I'm thinking. So this is kind of interesting. Construction costs minus 10 for all buildings. Corn corruption of adjacent provinces. What I'm thinking I might do for this region is they've come to the wrong place uh, to essentially... Actually, that probably won't be that useful because if Malekith really wanted to, he could quite easily run into the chill road and take it and then I'd lose my, conf my thing. So I'm just going to like, I'm just going to cause everybody else in the region problems. I think it's probably the best way to play it. And then... I think I'm just going to throw another Ritual Hut down. So that, like, I can further increase the capacity to everybody's uh, healing. So now I'm sort of in, like, a difficult a difficult position here. Well, it's not really that difficult, but I've got to make a choice. I have to decide if I want to go for Hellebron, and I think I will. Because when I played my own personal game, Hellebron came for me first. Whereas Malekith was still dealing with, like... You can also see Malekith's regions are still, like, causing him some, some measure of irritation. Like, he doesn't own his entire province yet. So he's probably going to be, like, dealing with that. Whereas Hellebron is very stacked for problems. So I'm probably going to go fight her first. Uh, Ohio should be good next turn, and I can start building proper buildings there and start having fun. So I think that's basically my plan. Did it change his name back? Oh, it gave me a completely new name. It called. Look at that. Thank you for pointing that out. Wow. 
I'll have to remember that. It changes their name when it ranks them up. I guess it's got to create a whole new model, I guess. So I guess that's why it does it. It's just like a, you know, a contrivance of gameplay. There we go. So yeah, we started at about 275. Oh, it's now down to 252. <laughs> And you sort of start to see, uh, in regions where my corruption is paramount, you can start to see the ground start opening up and blood is starting to, like, come out. I imagine, uh, I imagine there's a lot of, like, weird, like, pink stuff coming out. So, Clan, Clan Septic, uh, wants a non-aggression pact. Um, and they're willing to pay me for it. Okay, we'll do that for now. I do not want Skaven up in my, up in my biscuit at the moment. I can, I can butcher the Skaven and, and, and give the Mung back their ancestral lands soon enough. Oh, somebody else just left the game. <laughs> I think many somebody's left the game. Ungol Kindred is the ones that I've seen. Okay, I'm going to quickly save. Just that way it's, uh... Oh, you've bumped into Wintertooth. Alright. That's, uh, that's Throg. Uh yeah no he like he's the guy I was I was talking about if I, like if I move quick uh if I move quickly, then then I can subjugate Throg without too much trouble like like because I've got like at this point my vassal ha has a full has a full stack that uh, that he can use but if uh if I let him go, <laughs> if I let him go, yeah that's a problem. All right so now I can start right. building some buildings here so. I can build a fighter's lodge, or I could build a spawn cave. Chaos troll, spawn of corn, that's not really that important to me. The other options are a chaos shrine, which will increase the favor from all buildings in the local region, which is actually kind of good. Um, and although you can get chaos sorcerers, it is important to note, a chaos sorcerer in your army will lower your court authority, <laughs> regardless of who they fucking worship. So yeah, you can get magic in the army. Corn will be cross at you, though. And then there's the Vassal Emissary. Income from all buildings adjacent allied or vassal regions. Okay. So that's a pretty good one, too. So I'm thinking Chaos Shrine. We'll do Chaos Shrine for now to get my money up. Uh, we'll boost our growth. And we'll boost our uh, Spores of War. Spores of War being really good, because, like, more ba loot from, from battle, faction-wide. Now... Is your Chaos Sorcerer allowed to worship corn? But you cannot mark them with corn, unfortunately. And because I'm only corn, I cannot mark them with anybody else's mark. Um, we've still got probably another... Even here, quite a few turns before... Red hot. Before we can sort of get anything fancy from that. So I see in this region, uh, uh, like, eventually, I'll be able to purchase, um purchase trolls, but I can't right now. Um, basically everyone's just kind of like, kind of dropped like that. Can I... Uh, those guys don't have enough chevrons, they're only unit rank 2. If they were like unit rank, uh, unit rank 5, I think I could start to turn them into like corn, corn units. And that would like, that would be nice. Yeah, but I'm like almost certain Hellebron's gonna like want to start causing problems for me real soon here. Because that's basically what happened last time, as I thought, I was like, oh, I guess I'll have to go deal with Malekith now, because Malekith is going to cause problems. Who knows, Malekith might cause problems. But Malekith is on the side of the battlefield where the Mung are, so I can probably make use of the Mung to, like, bother Malekith if he tries to throw down. <laughs> the world's most confused wizard. Not wrong there. No, I don't know where Hellebron ran off to. She may not even want to declare war on me this time, but I have I have basically like non-aggression pacted with the nearby Skaven. So who knows, they might they might they might become friends, uh, you know, insofar as I'm letting them live for a little bit before I begin the stabbing. Yeah, like I I NAP'd Clan Mulder for uh, with pretty much the uh, the exact same rationale. I just like I will eventually screw with them, but I just like I've got bigger fish to fry right now. Yeah, and speaking of frying fish, Spite Reach. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Crone Hellebron, even though your strength rank is 20 and it's, uh, the game seems to think you will wipe the floor with me. I'm, I'm coming Spill to wipe the floor with, uh, with your territories instead. So let's, uh, let's order resolve oh, that. On. And we'll occupy it, because now... 
there will be a wine building that I can build. <laughs> We're doing this for the wine. Because, yeah, uh, that'll be a melee attack for Marauder units, plus five. Blimlin is now riding a horse. Eventually, Blimlin will be uh, will be riding something much larger. Alright, so let's go with the Fettered Gallopot. Um, I think. Yeah, because if I do that, my army's general, like... Because like, that's, that's basically what I need, is I need replenishment. So bad yep. to keep it going. If I want to keep momentum yep. going, I want it real bad. Um, well, you're on a horse now, so I'm going to give you Devastating Charge. Blimlin. Yeah. So now we just basically... Can I record anything cool in this region? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, I cannot. Like, there's just, like, this this thing just opened up. Like, this this thing just came out of the ground and immediately just, like, the blood got off on this floor. How's it, how's it looking over here? I think there's a fair bit of Undivided, uh, as well. <laughs> That's like a guy's helmet peeking out of the ground, I love that. <laughs> oh dear. There is I, a like, I, am, I am in a very high stakes game of cat and also cat with Throg. <laughs> like, he, he has, yeah, you're both cats. He has, he has one, he has one um, stack mm. himself that is actually worthwhile, mm. and everything, uh, everything else is just, uh, just sort of, of like, and be, uh, basically what I need to do is keep him running around so, uh, so much, mistress of skulls, that, um, that I steal all of his, uh, his, his outposts out from under him and like if i can get all of his outposts then i i just i just win like, like i just kill him yeah hellebron has got, got an interesting stack but like a lot of it are just dark shards so yeah while the dark shards could probably like pin cushion the shit out of valkia um i reckon i could just outflank her outflank them and just like murder them with like the sheer amount of like bullshit i've got to like, I reckon my army could take her army any day. It's like, it's hilarious that she thinks she could, but you know, like, whatever. <laughs> oh dear, and speaking of, uh, the Black Pillar has some people that are worth killing, so I'm gonna run over there. Decisive victory, auto resolve. Got the Biting Blade. Battle brings conquest. She may actually sort of get inspired to attack me now, because all of my dudes need to replenish, but hopefully they still can. That might that might be what kills me, but let's see now. I can smush these guys together. Catch and just buy. Corn's judgment is final. Carnets awakened. I demand absolute fealty. There we go. That's uh, that's keeping everybody in the fight. Um, Valkyrie uh, levels up Bring again. So let's again just go with the 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 gallopot. My proficiency is unsurpassed. Can I actually recruit a dog as well? Yeah, I might just boot that dog. Such a waste. And recruit that dog. Actually, why don't I recruit that instead? Get a unit of marauders instead Weakness on horses. Is not an option. Because marauder horsemen are a really strong unit. They always have been. Always will be. All yeah. right. And yeah, the, that's the primary undivided th uh, thing that I'm using as uh, as I as I fart around. Do all types of corruption cause that kind of visual effect on the map? Yep, they sure do. It's one of the things I love about this game. In fact, also, even things like wood elves building outposts causes more trees to grow in an area too, which is kind of nice. So I've got like three options for Blimlin here. I can make him a Chaos Gladiator, which will turn him into like an infantry killing machine. I can give him Chaos Commander, which will mean that everyone, like it'll give him leadership powers, make everyone around him fight better. Or you could get Chaos Strategist and increase the casualty replenishment rate and everyone would get more experience every turn. Where Corn, I feel like not choosing Chaos Gladiator is offensive to Corn. Uh, so we're going to make Blimlin just, like, you know, even more murderous. And and more to the point, let's just double check something here. Okay, cool. So the Binding Blade went to, went to Valkyrie for now. So she's got some armor-piercing damage on top of, like, her regular damage now, which is great. 
So that's good. So the Black Pillar I took because the Black Pillar has die. And that'll actually boost Marauder Horsemen leadership for whatever reason. I guess they like dying their horses. And I have unlocked the Knights of the Brazen Throne as Skull Crushers of Corn Unit. Now, here's the question. How much would that cost to recruit? Everything. But by that same token, if Hellebron wanted to, like, throw down against me, that's even more Skull Crushers. So I'm going to get rid of this unit of Marauders, which I just bought because I wasn't paying attention. And I will recruit the fucking Knights of the Brazen Throne. The yeah, okay. I don't like her odds anymore. Her chances are just going ah. down. Like, Hellebron is just like... Hellebron's just like looking over in this direction, just being like, that looks like a problem. I do overreach. But, you know, what they say... If you don't attack me this turn, Hellebron, my army becomes very, very difficult to deal with. <laughs> So, you know, it's up to you. It's up to you, Hellebron, old lady. Like, we're, uh, we're, we're getting stronger here. Well, it was really funny, actually, talking about Athelord and the Trees effect. What was really, really great about that was that you were able to do some absolutely cursed shit with, um... With, the uh, with, with Athelor and, uh, like, with Wood Elf troops and outposts and things. Because in the original Total War Warhammer, you could not take Norska. Like, nobody could build on Norskan lands except Norskans. Sporkticus! He's my favorite character that ever got added. He wants a non-aggression pact, and quite frankly, I'm inclined to give it to him. I'm just like, I'm making friends! Specifically so I can kill those guys over there. And there we go, we have Sacred Wings, so now my, my movement gets a little crazier now, which is good. So now that we've got that, let's get it. Let's sort of research Infernal March, which is going to take a while because we need to do chariot. Like we would need to get um, like charioteer, like scrutiny of the dark gods, then charioteer, then the thousand twisted blessings, uh, and then we get the campaign movement. But it's worth it as far as I'm concerned. The skull throne will benefit. All right. So here's here's where it gets tricky. I could attack Hellebron. In her own territory, she would outnumber me in sheer troops. I'm going to do something silly. Sword maiden of the blood God. I'm going to see if I can't entice her to attack one of these two regions instead. The this is, this is, this is dumb play, um, but I'm going to try it. Uh, it's... <laughs> For the blood God. It gets me a war banner, so I can't complain too much, so let's this just occupy that. And on top of that, that will allow us to build upon this location the Ritual Hut, which will again boost my replenishment. So I think my, my replenishment is kind of redonkulous now, which is, you know, as they say in the classics, just as planned. Um, so let's get that last Galapot, if that's even how you pronounce it. So my hope is that Hellebron goes, aha, I can get your things. Because she can reach Spite Reach or the Black Pillar as much as she wants. She'll probably go for Spite Reach. Um, which is fine. Uh, but my hope is just to sort of draw her out enough that I can then just like cause problems for Hargeneth. But we'll see. The, the longer this goes on, the greater my corn authority is. So the more like my replenishment, my upkeep costs go down and everything like that. So it's actually like really good. These guys still need more fights to level up, though, which is really unfortunate. And I'm getting, I'm getting close to a dilemma soon, and the dilemma might actually give me access to some stronger corn units as well. So that's another option too. He's just been sitting there like that the whole time. Oh, actually, you know, he's uh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming for Harkonnen. Okay. So I could draw this out until the Mung get here, but we'll see. I'm gonna short assailant as well, so that's good. Oh, can you research everything on the research tree? Or No, yes. This is one of those ones where there's everything on the research tree is available. Total to War Warhammer doesn't really have that many. Yeah, okay. So, she went out She went out for this one, unfortunately. You want to go outside, Chip? <laughs> All right, fine, pal. <laughs> yeah, so she's grabbed, she's grabbed that spot, which is fine. I almost want to see if, like, she's dumb enough to, like, pull further away. 
Yeah, it's not, Total War games don't usually have exclusive researchers. They usually have, have, just have a research uh, locked under locked under something else. So, oh, a question about Sporticus. Okay, Sporticus came about as a result of... Um, cool guy, I'll be back. Uh, Sporticus... I'm here. Oh, okay, cool. Sporticus came about as a result of the uh, the Throt versus the uh, the Twins. Uh, Woodall versus Skaven DLC in Total War Warhammer 2. There was a weird sort of, like, event look at around the tree. So, yeah, she's taken it. I can't reach it, I don't think. No. That's okay. Uh, she will probably... Like, she will... If she's sensible, she will either... If she heads for Grond, I destroy Harkonnen. Um, we'll see. One of the one of the major things is my favorite style of play that is like hiding in uh, oh. hiding in like ambush and like being an absolute like butt uh, doesn't really work here so <laughs> like I can't do that I can't I can't or rather, I can't getting throg hey you got him cool yep I got him excellent yeah so how much longer have I got on that two more no, turns give and my growth goes up go take the monolith of flesh there you are and then the dark redoubt grows. Now, can I demand this settlement back? So anyway, like the, the thing about the so there's like a wood elf wood elf bunch of wood elves somewhere around in this region down here, and as part of like reinforcing their tree, the twins have like the Good choice enough. to either assist the dark elves or assist a rogue band of like orc slaves that have broken away, and it's kind of hilarious because um because they they very strongly imply that the leader of these orcs Sporkticus. Uh, is aware that the Wood Elves aid him, and he salutes them as he leaves, uh, which is like <laughs> one of my like my favorite little things. So they made the orcs the sport like the 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 cage breakers as they're called. They made them a faction, and their leader is Sporkticus. So I always have a real soft spot for Sporkticus. It's so funny, yeah. You can like you can you can just genuinely side with the with like the orcs on that one, just to like so that the 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 dark the dark elves don't cause problems for the tree. You know, it's basically like, do we side with them so in the hope that they will stay away from the tree, or do we weaken them by allowing the orcs to flourish, therefore ensuring that they can't do that, but also giving us the you know the potential problem? Oh no, all orcs. Um, <laughs> but it just seems like it seems like Sporticus understands what you did for him and salutes you for it, which is just like you can't choose helping the dark elves. I feel like I feel like knowing that. Once you do that once, it becomes the forbidden knowledge that you can't escape. So yeah, cool guy has defeated Throg enough that um, Throg is now going to be a vassal for him. Like, yeah, uh, I, like, like, and I, I never engaged his, uh, his army. <laughs> uh, like, so there, there is, is an entire twenty stack of Throg that is just that is re is ready to go uh, go do horrible horrible <laughs> things to somebody which is a little bit of a shame for you because that means you don't get throgs battle trait for defeating him i'm okay with that yeah. genuinely the trade off like, the trade off like, of having him under your thumb like that is pretty good and, yeah like it, especially when uh, when you're t when you're talking about uh, when you're talking about like how bad that fight would be this early mm. on cuz like just just to be clear you know like uh, like, like his he has the Cold Voider, a Frostworm, like a legend, a a, a, reg a regiment of renown, Frostworm, three Nor uh, <laughs> Norskin trolls, another two Norskin ice tro uh, trolls, and then you know, of course, Throg himself. Yeah. No, I, I don't want anything to do with that. Le uh, le like, I'm, I'm just gonna, le like, all I did was I baited him out. He was, for whatever reason, sieging the monument of uh, the monolith of flesh down rather than, you know, just assaulting it, which gave me all of the time I needed to sneak around him, take his uh, his, uh, his other stuff, which allowed me allowed me to just uh, just be like, okay, cool, you're mine now. He's like, all right, and then I gave him all uh, all of his uh, all, uh, all of his settlements back. And you know, like I'm just, I'm just keeping the uh, the local dark fortress. Everything else is his. Yeah. So let's see what Hellebron does now. I get the feeling she's gonna run back to Harganeth, which is fine. No, she, she did. Oh, okay. Huh. Whereas Althalos ran off in that direction. So what's Althalos thinking of doing? Is she thinking she's just gonna run off and like cause problems in that direction? 
I'm gonna like swing back and take spot reach. Just like, cause, cause the advantage of like taking these territories back is, as I get more battles, which then unlocks my armor. Like, <laughs> okay, so I finally got my favor. So here's the thing: I can get. Okay, so so my corruption ritual. Following the eightfold path has brought a ritual, though lost to time, back to the world. Is a right that celebrates the blood god's testament. So I could take it over to get total favor of a thousand and master of ceremonies, which would boost undivided corruption, or I could join in, which would give me souls and boost uh, my corruption in all provinces uh, for corn, which is like, so it's a no-brainer. Revel in murder and bloodshed. Glimlin wants to level up again, which is good, which means I give him training. In a system where you can upgrade units uh, based on their level, uh, having someone with training in it is pretty good. So I'm going to go take Spite Reach. Again. Because it's fun. I like taking Spite Reach. Unrelenting murder. Yeah, my army's, uh... My army is uh, a little Corn scarier now. Here. So there we go. Audacious. Get a little bit of charge bonus on there again. Reforged for murder. And then, uh... Woman. Yep, cool! So I didn't have to rebuild anything, because it was all level 1 and everything there, so I've still got my wine can. <laughs> my wine is back. I wonder what she's going to do with, like, that's such a small of unit, though, because even my, like, crappiest of garrison can fight that. I don't like what these guys are doing. Oh, the Skaven in that area getting wiped out by the, uh... By the Arghal. I gotta, I gotta take care of the Arghal. I'm gonna take out care of, uh... Crone Hillebron here. And then I think I gotta go up to the Palace of Ruin and conquer those boys, because otherwise they'll probably cause problems. No. Alright. Maiden of the blood god. Alright, yep, so I could probably just end my turn on that one too. Just to see what Hellebron does. Cause I I like like I said, I think pound for pound my army makes her army look like ridiculously like weak. Cause like I oh know it got six 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 fucking income. We're doomed. Man, I feel bad for her though, because I'm just gonna like I'm gonna turn into like a tiny little ruin outpost. <laughs> Like, it's so funny, it's like, they look like Dark Elm cities, but they're just like, they're just altars. There's just an altar in the middle of it. Everyone's worship and chaos in it. The Gore Queen. Nobody even lives there anymore, they just sort of, uh, sort of show up when uh, when they have to do some, like, weird blood sacrifice. Yeah, like, one of, one of the places has a hut, and there's like a, like a dude who just lives in it, and he's like, chewing on an arm, and he goes, What? What? What do you want? What do you okay, wish so to know? Okay, so Hardroth Vorpalshard has just declared war on me. All right, buddy. Huh? Fair enough. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even go, uh, going to fight him. Like, wow. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna send uh, send Throg at him. Uh, our number of things just went up. <laughs> our number of factions just went up. <laughs> now it's down again. Yeah. Oh god, it went down twice. Sigfall, buddy. Hello. Are you mad at me? He wants a trade agreement. You know what? Sure. I'm not interested in finding you right now. Where's Throg? Throg, you're going the wrong way, pot uh, friend. Careful. Well, Only fools make enemies of the god touch. So you guys want a trade agreement and you're willing to give me 500 bucks for it? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> like, it's mostly the thought, like, they're like, we give you chaos favor. It's like, how are you, go how is that a physical currency? And they just, like, shrug and go, I don't know, no. We're gonna figure it out somehow. We drew smiley face on coin coin. Oh, I don't have enough allegiance on Throg. Okay, fine. fine. All right, it's fine. It's time to siege down this crone. <laughs> if I try to attack this place, uh, I will suffer for it uh, as a straight up thing. So I'm just gonna like sit on them and siege for a few turns. And if they sally out, I might be able to do something about it. I can't just do my usual routine of like ambushing them and then laughing as they cry at me. And Ohio Prime is ready that is to a pretty good. Uh, that is a pretty good routine though. Yeah, well I mean like scumming, scummery is like basically my watchword in this game. Violence and death. Hellebron may sally out to face me and I reckon I can take it then because she's just mostly, it's mostly just crossbows. So if I can get them in close combat, I can probably just kill her entire army. Where the hell is... Spare none. 
Let's just end that. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> but yeah, we've got Scrutiny of the Dark Gods up now, which is nice. And I think next turn the Eye of the Gods Where's will the open. Here we go. Sorrel. So let's let's see what happens when the Eye of the Gods open next turn, I think. <laughs> I love I love I love it's just gotten it's gotten wider. It's got closed at the start now, like this is just big glowing chaos symbol. Alright, there. I'm just send, uh, sending one of my uh, one uh, one of my allies at at the um, demons of chaos because I have more tribes to uh, to to <laughs> to subjugate to subjugate. Going after the Varg now. Mm. Yeah, like that's a primary region for that sort of thing, and and honestly, my region has also got quite a few as well. I will dismember you and hang your ah, intestines. So Malik is probably going to declare war on me now. That's fine. He's doing it for hag grief, so they've obviously. No, they. Okay, they're just going to ally with him as well. That's fine. And I get a close. Remember how we had like 280 factions? I remember that time. Yeah. So I get a close victory out of this. So I'm just going to like for order resolve it. God. So like Hellebron just like suicided her entire faction on me. Cool. Which means I can now turn around and go beat the shit out of uh, Malekith. So let's occupy that. Cool. Well, that's good. That was perfect timing, in fact. <laughs> it's like, thank God, you're an idiot. I didn't much want to fight that one, so... What does Throg want? <laughs> oh, he, oh, he wants a trade agreement. Plus. And he wants me to pay 200 bucks for it. You know what? Fine. You know, you'll make that back in a few turns. Yeah, and like it, it's Please worth it because uh, because the more uh, the more diplomacy I have with him, the more his allegiance com uh, comes up, the more I can order him around. So Kakar and Kar wants to get wants a non-aggression pact. But that's fine. They're they're willing to give me money for it, which is like mostly my motivator. <laughs> so it's like, will you pay me money to not kill you? We are like across the water from me at the moment, so I don't actually have any intention of going over and killing you. So there we go. Yep, I got uh, I got a bonus to melee attack and armor piercing damage because Hellebron died, uh, which is nice. And Harganeth is now out of the picture, and now I have to raise or sack the following numbers of settlements five, in order to get the demon shield. Okay. Your actions have drawn the uh, the attention of Slash, the Dark Prince of Chaos. The power of his sensations can bring euphoria or despair, should they be used un uh, unwisely. And I can choose to wound uh, one of uh, one of my characters in uh, in re uh, in in um, return for getting Slanesh's blade, which is plus thirty melee attack, enables magical attacks, armor piercing weapon damage plus fi uh, five hundred, ward save twenty. An attribute unbreakable. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I got like three levels from Valkyrie out of that, so I, I've started to go down her personal path. So I got Bringer of Glory, which is plus one rank to all Chaos Marauder units, and my leadership size goes up. The Queen of Schwarzwolf, uh, which gives me plus twenty five percent allegiance points, allegiance points gained from uh, vat alliances and vassalages with Norska, plus thirty five diplomatic relations with Norska. Vanguard deployment for Chaos Marauders, Chaos Warriors, and Chosen, and also Vanguard deployment for Valkyr. <laughs> and then I also grabbed Scorn the Coward, uh, which gives me plus 25% ambush defense chance, 10% physical resistance, and a passive ability called the Wrath of Corn, which allows me to cause an explosion around myself to get myself out of weird combats. Alright, here we go. Oh god. Oh god. The Wrathful Eye opens. Your actions have drawn the attention of Khorne, the angry and wrathful blood god. Prove that you're worthy of his gaze. Until then, he grants you a bloody boon. Choose who will benefit. So, my options here are... 100% movement range after winning a battle. That'd be good, except I think it's going to take that long to get over to the next person, so I'm not going to bother doing that. Uh, Path to glory plus 25% levels kept when devoting a character to a god. Uh, I don't really have anyone to devote right now, so no... Guess the cast activation costs my 75%. I'm not really activating any right now. So the only option that really makes sense to me is... I'm going to dedicate it to my fortresses. And I'm going to get a Dragon Ogre Shagoth out of it. Jesus. So hey everybody. Last Robokai here. I'm just going to ask this unit of, of relatively Your weak marauders to undecided. leave. Because in my gifted units, I can buy... 
this guy. I demand absolute fealty. A very chonky lad. So, the Dragon Ogre Shagoth is essentially a late game model of, of murder. <laughs> it is a single giant monster who is just going to punch his way through everyone's spines. Oh god, okay, so I've got like another set of like options here. So, let's see. Um... For, for Blimlin, I could get Brutal Ritualist, which would add plus one to Corn Authority. Raging Stalwart, which would give him a ward save and spell resistance to the art. Uh, like, you give him a ward save, and the army would get spell resistance. Or Vengeful Scorcher, which would give him extra 10% uh, weapon strength, which is kind of cool. And also, like, once he's gotten 60 kills in a battle, he also does plus 20% base weapon damage, and plus 20% armor piercing damage. These are actually all pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to go with Vengeful Sto Scorcher, though, because uh, Blue Moon's my murder boy. And I'll also get him an Aura of Chaos, just to boost his general resistance to getting, like, shot. So there we go. Now, our, our old friend Mr. Malekith has rather mistakenly waited until far too late to uh, to declare that he wants to fight us. So, we're just going to, like, head off to get into a fight with, uh, with the... Is, uh, holy shit, the Munger already on it! Holy crap, the Munger are already heading to Nagara! <laughs> Good grief. They're going too fast! Um, God, what do I, what do I even build here? Um, I suppose the, the Twisted Relic's probably the good one for here. Change of plans. <laughs> Oh uh, dear. And oh uh, yes, of course. Um, so let's put on... Let's put on Corn Corruption. Let's just spread the corruption around to other regions. I'm sure they'll love it. So yeah, my intent had been to like... Be go over here and slap these guys. And I still might. Then again, let me just... This is gonna... This is... This is... This is gonna be like the silliest play. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see. Okay, I don't even, technically don't even see them, apparently. Oh no, there they are. I'll go. Look, dude, what if I initiate a diplomacy? Where shall we raid next? The and are ready. Apparently, they won't let me argue to vassalize them. So, hey, what about a trade agreement just to. Just to make this work, um, and I will not be giving you that much money, get fucked. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah. Goodbye. I'm gonna be coming back later to punch you. Don't you worry about that. How many more f How many more punches do I need? Two more and I can get my armor. Man, it'd be so funny if the Mung actually successfully take Nagarond. That'd be like the best thing that's ever happened in this game. <laughs> Is if the Mung take Nagarond. I'm pretty sure that's never happened before. No, I don't like, think it, like I don't think our, it, have our own GDQ moment on this stream. I will be running there to assist them so that they can take Nagarond for sure. I like I, I thought want I had them. ended my turn, I'm sorry. That's quite alright. I want them to take Nagarond. I want the Dar I want the Dar the Norskins to hold the Dark Elf territories. Okay, so one of them's just launched into the territory there to like to defend it, but they're still in march mode, so if the Hmong are clever, they might be able to uh to do something about this. If not, like, I'm coming and I have a very angry big, big shag off, so I'm not particularly worried. <laughs> you're getting, uh, you're getting, you're getting diplomacy over there. How's yeah, Vind Vindex wants a non-aggression pact and they'll pay me a hundred bucks for the privilege. Fine. Yeah, give me money. I was gonna, yeah, I was well, gonna uh, say, um, like, how's, how's general, like, conversation with the Empire going? Have you actually encountered any emissaries of the, uh, of the, of the men? Because I know Azazel likes to spend a lot of time with men. The races yeah, of men. Like, like he's very big on 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 men and spending lots of time with <laughs> men and menning his men with men. Uh, but I and I I can I can see um, Ostland, but uh, but that that's ba uh, that's basically it. Like, uh, like like if I had like I'm only at um I'm only uh, I'm only at negative tw uh, twenty seven with uh, with them. Like if I spent heavily. I could like I could seduce them in uh, into a non-aggression pact, which 
I, if I had more money, I would do exactly that. But uh, but like I don't re uh, really have uh, really have that uh, that opportunity re uh, right now. Like I need, I have more dudes that uh, that I need uh, that I need to beat up, and um, they currently are a little pissy, a little more pissy than normal at me, because the Great Orthodoxy um, declared war on me, and it it it'd be like that sometimes. It do you be know? like that sometimes. And so they they're they're just like, but you're you're at, you're at war with Kislev, and I, I'm just like, that really wasn't my choice there, buddy. <laughs> just uh, just going through my lineup here and just making a little bit more corn, you know, upgrading some of my uh, some of my boys to uh, to corn variations. Okay, I feel a bit better about that. My my marauder horsemen instead of throwing javelins now throw axes. I feel that's more appropriate. So remember when uh, the last the last build of freaking um, uh, Banner Lord that I uh, that I played, where if you had any amount of of throwing skill and you hit some uh, somebody with uh, with a javelin, they just freaking launched into the distance <laughs> uh, like you would hit them with a railgun. Oh, jeez, that sounds beautiful. Oh man, like it was it was it, it was one of the funniest damn things I'd seen in my life. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so Malekith is there, and Malekith is sassy. Well, Welch isn't backing down there. Welch is sort of hanging out. I don't know what Welch is gonna do. Welch, are you gonna like? Are you gonna fight Malekith? Cause that's kind of wild, man. That's kind of wild. I think Malekith is just out of my range to attack, but I can I can help besiege him in Nagarond, and we'll we'll take it in the name of chaos. Of course, I say take it in the name of chaos. Uh, because my spear, uh, my next like war gear pace requires me to like raise stuff. God, base weapon damage plus twenty percent of all for all armies of all factions. I'm guessing you got that one too. Reforged for murder. Uh, yeah, yeah, a brutal my business. All right, let's put let's put Valkyrie just here. Press on. And all right, time to declare uh, to declare war on the scalings. Because I am going to go subjugate the scalings. There we go. Hello! Blood so <laughs> Goodbye. The snow. Gift to Vassal. Oh, right. Yeah. Naggle Farlings. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, Let's you have to be careful to like, make sure that like the region doesn't have like something you can make use of before you sack it. Like, if it's a... If yeah, it, like, th if this is just Longship Graveyard. Yeah. Like, like there, there's, not, there's nothing fun here. So yeah, the, sliver, the sibilant slaughtercade, chaos chariots. Very nice. Yeah, Slanesh, Re Slanesh chariots Re yeah. slap hard. Like so yeah, um, Malchus got a pretty decent army, but he's still on foot, so I'm not too worried about him. And I've also got a Shagoth, so I'm like twice as not worried about him at all. I'm like, oh, it's Malchus, and then I then I remember Shagoth, and I'm like, oh, that's right. That's right. I don't I've have got anything to worry about. I've ever. got I've got Valkyr, I've got Blimlin, and I've got um Sword Maiden of the Blood God. There we go. I've given him I've given my Shagoth the name Ohio Man. It seemed much more appropriate. <laughs> You know, I was like, I was seriously thinking, I can't keep, I can't keep the Ohio meme going like through every single game I play. You definitely can keep it. Like, <laughs> like, dude, that, that story, that story I told, just uh... unbottled what was already there. Like, we are not forcing that meme. That shit is real. <laughs> it's just like, can I, can I really just keep doing it? Can I keep getting away with it? Even though it's like, yes, you can. <laughs> it's not even my story, but it's just like, yep. Yes, I can. Like, I've been given full. Dude, I've been given. I've given full permission to to Ohio it, man. Yeah. So Malekith's gonna Malekith's gonna Malekith. So I'm gonna like I'm gonna siege him down. Fun, funny part is is I could technically like now that I've got the shag off. I could like I could do some damage. I could like push the walls in without even having to like wait to build siege equipment. But instead, I'm just gonna camp him in his house and see how he likes it. The answer is probably not much. If you come for blood, yeah. it will only be Hi, Halivore. Do you want a trade agreement? Um, 
I guess it's gonna take me a while before I have to go over and subjugate you, so I'm just gonna like. And I was trying to get one with those with you before, so that's fine. So unlocks warband upgrades, chaos chariots. So now I'll be able to build chaos chariots if I want. So the game wants me to carry out a successful assassination attempt against the following character, Valanduil. So Valanduil is in Malekith's army. If I do this, I will get the other tricksters shard. I'm just not so sure it's actually gonna like work. <laughs> Let's uh. Are you? Who are you? Are you Valanduil or are you somebody else? You're Hagreen, so I'm guessing no. Valanduil is the master. Mistress of skulls. Blimlin, what would your chance of assassination be? Fifty-five percent is better than nothing. Okay, well, um, you let me down, and so now I'm gonna siege. You, 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 you tried, Blimlin. You really did try. So let's just uh, continue that siege. And while I wait for, like, Blimlin to rejoin my army, I'll just, like... I'll just build throwing a unit of trolls. Weakness is not <laughs> and that, just to give my army a bit of beef until next turn when I throw him in. Like, I will, I will essentially not bother on that assassination mission and just let it expire. Because my plan is basically just to burn down these lands, and if, uh, if the, if the Mung, Team Mung... Hey, dude! Um... Join me in attacking attacking this target instead. Sounds good? I think that sounds good. Cause I think I think I had the power to tell him to do that. Anyway. <laughs> I should, I've been friends with him long enough. I've been friends for so long, Mung. Surely surely we can be we can be battle buddies. Scaling still have two settlements left. I need to finish with that. Yeah. I'm just gonna like burn down those things, and then I'm gonna go like I'm gonna like walk off and do something else. <laughs> like I'm I'm getting I'm getting like pushed and pulled in all directions at the moment, but it's like no, nah, we gotta do this. Yeah, I genuinely have no idea where this lo uh, this last outpost of the scalings is, which is a little frustrating actually. All right, whatever. I'll I'll re I'll rename that uh, that thing tomorrow. How's that corruption going in this region anyway? It doesn't really show it. Okay, so Pyrrhic victory, and all it will cost me is a unit of dogs to to destroy Malekith. But what if I give the war banner to the dogs? The trolls die. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna pay that because I didn't I don't care about the trolls. Uh so yeah. That's so funny though, isn't it? Oh, there it is. That was it's so funny. Shot. I put the banner on the dogs, so the game goes, ah, the trolls die. Yeah, that is that is so bizarre. That's like my favorite dumb thing I've ever seen. Anyway, sorry, Malekith, but um, I gotta I gotta raise this. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna raise this. I'm actually just gonna like burn down the entire capital. And while I could I could have taken it for the marble, I'm like I'm doing this for my weapon. I'm doing this for, like, my weapon quest. I'm gonna let the Mung have it instead. And then Blimlin can just hop back in the army and we can go- we can go off and get the next lot of guys. <laughs> I still can't believe that! What are the calculations for that to occur? I'm not sure! I- like, I'm not- I've never really read into too much about what they actually do. Did you guys just take it or no. are you just, like, heading over there? You don't get a peace treaty. Shut up. Valanduil. Yeah, so he's gone. The savage blow. So yeah, Valkia uh, has the passive ability Frenzy now, which I thought she already had, but you know, whatever. And I've unlocked the Brutes of the Hound, uh, who are Marauder Berserkers, which is kind of cool. And our war coordination target is gone. That's fine. Mission aborted. That's fine. Uh, win the following battle with... So yeah, if I want to get the Spear, I have to do a quest. Which, uh, I won't do just yet. Even though I reckon I'd probably do alright at it. I want to get some, like, Chosen in my arm before I do that. And Savage Blow, everyone's charges of all factions. Come on, just, come on just getting everybody into slap fights right now. How 
I'm not sure that's okay, a okay, okay. I like I, I have half of a chance uh, of a chance to uh, to get in good with Nordland now, because I'm beating up the ah, scalings. Bugger, I'm colonizing. This is probably going to cost me. This is probably the biggest mistake I've ever made. Nope, it's just out of range. Cool. <laughs> so it's like, but I'll 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 take this because um. I realized I can build uh, I can build a, a wharf here, and that'll actually like be really nice too. Wharfs are nice. Anyway, Valkyr levels up again, which means this time I could take Blood Raven or Risen again. Um, let's go with Blood Raven. Oh, oh, actually, I can get all of these. So Blood Raven is actually a reference, uh, not to the Blood Ravens, but to the fact that. Um, one time Valkyr taught a particularly mean demoralizing trick to use against uh, against the enemy. Uh, and it's essentially any captives you have when you're sieging an enemy, you put them on you put them on a on a thingy, a corn icon, and while they're still alive, you have their entire rib cage just pulled open and outwards. Uh, and then you leave them there to die with their like hearts exposed. Obviously they would die pretty quickly. <laughs> no shit. And I now get the Sword Maiden of Court ability, which gives the demonic attribute to Valkyr. Uh, and also she has um, a passive regeneration, which is just like, okay, sure, why not? So now she's in, now she's quite dangerous. And did I have any enchanted items? No. But Blimlin can get the Sword of Battle. There we go. Like, Do you have any ancillaries? No, I'm we just have the war banner no, that we I gave to dogs. And now we can upgrade some more buildings, so let's see. Um, horse barn. <laughs> I think the vassal emissary is probably a good one. Would I want to get myself some more Heroes of Corn? I might actually get myself a Fighter's Lodge. And then, of course, boost the uh, the other places for more replenishment and more growth in that region. Mostly just for the growth, so I can make the place big. And then once it's maxed out, I'll build another building in there for money. Bringer of glory. Okay, try it. Can I upgrade you guys? Probably. What? Yeah. Greenskins uh, aren't aren't susceptible to no, they're not. Okay, cool. Mm, that's not really worthwhile. So the Blood Eagle from Viking Sagas. Yeah, basically. All right. Um, that'll do for that, I guess. Uh, Ganache will probably be real pissed at me and come in swinging, but she can't. She she's just not in range, and uh, you know what? You guys should just uh. Holy crap! Marienburg's gotten screwed over, dude. You guys, you guys go that way and cause problems for them. I think that seems like the best plan. Black Pit tri uh, tribe is is occupying Marienburg right now. <laughs> All right then. I, like, like, I just, I just double. Go, I've got to look down. Huh? So Marienburg belongs to what the orcs now? Yeah, Greenskins. Damn, Empire Empire doing it rough right now. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I uh, try a silly gambit because oh. I just I just took uh, took one uh, one is. of. Oh. Oh the, oh, the the white dwarf is mad at me. <laughs> oh. Uh, dear. I just took one of Nordland's thing, uh, things from the scalings, so I'm kind of wondering if I give them their uh, their port back, because, like, it's got furs, so ostensibly it should be useful to me, except for the fact that I can't build anything there. Like, because <laughs> like, I... I I, o I only ha have 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 like like the core port building, and then uh, then I've got like the actual port, right? So this is it's completely worthless to me. So uh, like, like I'm wondering if I give them that back, can I get a non-aggression pact with Nordland? If I can get a non-aggression pact with Nordland, that's the only thing I need. <laughs> and the black the black pit uh... tribe want uh, wants wa uh, wants a non-aggression pact with uh, with me. 
and I'm t I, I think I think I'll say yes for now and then just backstab them later if I want. Yeah, like a lot of these like non-aggression pacts I've made are like, you know, eventual aggression pacts more than anything. Yeah. Hatch woman. Okay. So How grief will be next? I'm just gonna leave. On the wall. Nah, that's all right. I guess I mean I reckon these guys can take out grief pretty easily, or at least relatively easily. Reforged for murder. Cause like all all I care about is like burning these places down. Okay, cool. That's that's how uh, how we're going okay, to. So Kragroth Deep. Do that. Torox has right. claimed that. So. Nordland. That's interesting. So what's the... is there a new gift to play with here? Settlement. Is that why the game's like warning me? Yeah, huh? Violent Hunger. Passive Ability, Blood I Greed. And a trade agreement. For all units with the Mark of Corn. So basically any any passive ability just boosts armor piercing damage, charge bonus, and melee attack with more kills made. It is an expensive well, upkeep. Just though. short. So I might just like leave that for now. Every hiatus from battle is a chance for a new war. <laughs> Just uh Not get much out of this actually. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's fine. We'll there see. we go. We'll see how it goes. So I, I, I got I got my I got my foot in the door. I gave them ba uh, back their port and I demanded a trade agree uh, agreement in return. <laughs> So now, now so, I'll give I'll give them a couple a couple of turns to warm up to me a little bit. Yeah. So so everyone and... who's wondering what why cool guy is in, is is diplomacying as the warriors of chaos. That's the thing with Slanesh is that you can actually uh, start to worm the uh, the favor of Slanesh into factions that uh, that you get like little different diplomacy stuff with, and Azazel gets like a pretty big bonus to diplomacy with the uh, Empire, Bretonian, Cathay, or Kislev factions. And so he's able to um, he's able to actually get his foot in the door to start slowly corrupting them. And when you fully corrupt them, you can va you can like vassalize them. It's not easy yep. to do, but it's easier to do when you're uh, when you when you've got such like uh, sneaky means and a good foot in the door. It's also it's also a uh, like, like a way for me to have multiple irons in the fire. Like, uh, like I can I can start get, uh, getting diplomacy go uh, going with a couple with a couple of these factions. And like, like I can also like greenskins are not vulnerable to my seduction, so I could go over and I could stomp on these greenskins. I could restore all uh, all of the uh, these things to to um, Marienburg, and get a whole uh, a whole bunch of of uh, of stuff go, uh, going on with them. And then you know, ten turns, fifteen turns from now, without me ha having having to launch a campaign or ha uh, having this huge pain in the ass thing happen i just vassalize them oh whoop sorry carl <laughs> yeah he's uh and then and vassals for azazel also spread slanesh corruption around as well so it sort of it basically is just one of those funny things um <laughs> when you vassalize someone does that basically mean they become part of your own faction uh essentially it's like being in a military alliance uh with somebody you can order them to do stuff and things like that but by that same token as well, you, you do own them, and they will do what you, like, ask them, and they will give you money uh, every turn. So. Okay, yeah, Clan Mulder and, uh, ended their non-aggression pact with me. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, they'll go eventually. Just not sure if uh, this was the right play. I should have just stayed in another turn in Bagarod and got my health back. We'll, we'll see. The Goku model of imperialism. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends now. You've beaten me half to death. We're friends now. Okay. Well, the Mongols have given up on uh, on anything. So. I crave the flavor of your freshly removed hearts. Okay. Well, in this particular case, uh, I'm just gonna like boost my experience. I'm trying to see how much of a bad idea this is. Decisive victory, and I don't lose any units. All right then. For the blood God. Seems like a not bad idea then. Yeah. In this particular case, I will this occupy it because uh, I need to like get my health back. <laughs> there we go. So I get the Scarlet Armor now. So there we go. 
And uh Yep, so that's we're wearing we're wearing the skull at Armin now. Excuse me. Consort of corn. Yeah, so that's good. Good. There will always be blood. We'll burn down the Temple of Cain, because we don't it need that. <laughs> Sorry, Temple of Cain, but we are going to burn you down. Reforged for murder. Now Income from post battle loot, we'll definitely grab that, and then next turn driven by rage, and after that, I will start to go down her yellow tree. For the fun of it. Um Yeah, we're doing alright on that one. Devastating charge for Mullen. We've gotta we've gotta at some point lose a battle and survive. I don't think we're doing that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's let's not and say we did. Yeah, that's such a funny one. It's like lose a battle and survive and then you get a war time. I was like, it doesn't sound very corn like. I suspect uh, Ginesh is gonna like make a play for Nagarond at some point. But that's fine. What I need more than anything is just a like. It may just be time to start working on the next level of uh, just like on the next Lord. So what's this guy's thing? Oh, oh God. Oh man, I want that guy so bad. Even if he's like not gonna be like in a full Oh my god, but that guy that guy looks great. Oh god, tough choices. Karen Hildnox enables flaming attacks and has fire resistance just because he's perpetually on fire. And there's this dude with his amazing helmet and has like the brass collar of corn which will allow him to devote himself to corn at like less of a soul cost. You won't be able to like Recruit too much Excellent. of an army. I got the. To start uh, with, though. I got the um, the non-aggression pact with Nordland. Nice. So Let me see what Slaneshi fa uh, fact uh, factions. Twenty-five seduction. <laughs> There's a second Galarus Corfix. Oh God. I love. I love. This guy just called I Cold. But he's got iron skin, so he's got like plus 25 armor and also plus 25% unit mass, which means his charges hit harder. Thing is, if I get him, I'm just not going to be able to like hire units because at the moment my like, my my general like upkeep is, is way too much. I'm right, uh, right off the, like, like two turns away from Pack Ice Bay, uh, from Pack Ice Bay, where, uh, where I'm heading to. Um, is that Shadow Rift, and you mouse over it and it says, a rift belonging, uh, providing passage for Bellacor's faction. This rift can only be entered by a lord belonging to Bellacor and cannot be closed. Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna give that a wide berth. Right, I need to give Valky her armor. For some reason it wasn't putting it on her. So now Valky is wearing the Scarlet armor, which will basically make everyone around her shittier. Uh, while well, boosting her ward save and stuff. She becomes, you know, she basically just continues to be like a tank who sits in your enemy army just distracting the shit out of them, which is great. And I need to like burn a few more places down so I can get the demon shield. And when I get the demon shield, that'll again just like make everyone around, um, it'll make her invulnerable to damage. Um, so that'll be good. I just need, I just need them to like buff up more so I can just go slap that. Like, how many more? How, I've only, like, done one. So I definitely gotta, like... I gotta, like, sack a few settlements, I think. Maybe instead of raising them. Probably be a better idea. So I'm just internal monologuing about my next options. The World Walkers ha have, uh, are, like, the last ma uh, major dudes that, uh, that I, I need to, ha uh, to handle in Norska. And they, they have eight frickin' settlements. Uh. Hate. <laughs> yep. It's just... So Wolfric, Wolfric, been wandering. I need to get. I think I need. To, what I need to do is I need to go over and get that dark fortress. Because if I can get that dark fortress, I will have access to more money, and then I can build more, more Ohio. At the same time, I do have Ohio. those structures will be built next turn, and that will significantly boost the amount of money I have too. So that might actually help too. So it may just be I will have, like, enough of an upkeep next turn to be able to build an army up to go take that thing. But we'll see. We'll see. The game the game may not give that to me.
Vindex wants military access in return for 150 bucks. All right, <laughs> sure, whatever. So I give you money, you give me you give me opportunity to walk through your territory. I'm like, whatever. You do you, buddy. I mean, be it beats the it beats the hell out of out of having another demons of chaos but uh, faction down my throat so you know there's that than, yeah less than 200 uh, Iraq has been uh, been eliminated yeah less than 200 the following remain. region i am not going to be doing that like that is way far out of my out of my uh, my purview okay so not, are you nuts not a huge amount of money from that unfortunately well that's a shame i was kind of hoping for more money Scrub. Just need more money. I need Carnets more awakened. money. Where did they go? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that I've lost sight of like the forces of uh, the forces of the Dark Elves. Where did they go? Where did the Dark Elves go? I'm looking around, I'm like checking under objects. Uh-oh. I don't see them anymore. Blimlin, I think we're in trouble. Okay, Blimlin's training up. There we go. There will always be blood. I will let I will let Valkyria like spin her wheels for one more turn and then she should be fine to go back out on the field. She's uh Definitely need to get over there and take that fortress. I might even have to go, like, take Sigvald's fortress, too. But by that same token, there are so many problems around the place I need to take care of. There are a lot of, there are a lot of problems. The White Dwarf is a problem. What are you guys up to as well? Oh, uh, yeah, they're gonna go, they're gonna go fight the dwarves, I guess, because the dwarves are closer on their doorstep. Alright. Reforged for murder. Let's just skip that, and in turn... Everything else pretty gone pretty good. This is honestly the most peaceful this territory has ever been in this game. Yeah, <laughs> Double this is, three, this is... Nagarond, not everything is like everyone just like fighting each other insanely. It's like okay, cool. I've resurrected the Na uh, the Nagel Farlings, and it's like the game's acting super weird about it. Like I can't actually initiate diplomacy with them. Like like <laughs> they they kind of seem uh, seem to both exist and not exist at the same time. Wild. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I could get like, like if I got myself like a big stack of money, I could also just like build like units into that stack and then go take that that fortress as well. It's like so many so many things I could be doing. The empire is a thunderdome now. This is true. The empire has a lot going on in it. It's not too like too much pressure for Carl himself. But the Empire as a whole is under a lot of stress, which makes a Carl player have to like, or, or, or a Gelt player have to sweat. Because they desperately try to help out everyone. Okay. Oh dear. Alright. So that's Infernal March research, which means my dudes can now do big marches, which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, Malekith is back. I guess the chaos corruption in the area is so bad now that he's actually like his troops are like <laughs> suffering real bad from just being there. Sword maiden of the blood god. Let's see what else I can recruit here. have enough money I can probably just build an army and get away with this. But I would have to act quickly to get over there. Hmm. Alright, let's see here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. How much would that set me back? Five thousand. I would probably run out of money. Three. <laughs> 
Six. Okay, so I know where six of the world walkers is. No, I know where five of their other things are. I don't know where the last two are. Which is a bit of a problem. Oh well. I guess I'll worry about that in a, a, a bit later. Like right now, I I have. Uh, I don't think I'm ready to move those guys just yet, in all honesty. It's because I'm worried about what the White Dwarf is going to do. Like, Valky's going to have to swing around and beat up the White Dwarf. <laughs> oh dear, what are Torox is doing? Torox has put up, a, put up one of his stones somewhere. I can tell because Kragroth Deep, nothing can be built on it. It's a defiled blood ground. So I know he's out there somewhere and I could probably make friends with him. Malekith, show me what you know. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. Where's that fucking Mara going? She have to she have to raid my territory, is she? I do not like your chances, Malekith. I believe I'm just going to like run over you again. <laughs> You should defeat the following lord in battle, Grombendal. All right then. Bringer of glory. I'll get right on that video game. Right after I'm done uh, rolling over the top of uh, Malekith again. Spare none. Punch him a few times. Yep. All right. Let's sack it, it this time. From whence the blood flows. Right. Okay. So exalted blood letters now. Swords of Chaos, Chaos Knights, that's pretty cool. Awakened. Um, driven by Rage. Alright, cool. So this is good. So this will boost my campaign movement. The amount of souls I get, income, and just general Chaos Corruption. And now I will start... I'm just going to be start, like, mega-boosting uh, Valkyria herself. <laughs> Gifts for the champion. Hey, Blimlin, you can continue to be a charge boy for charging. Now, can I just take this over now? So yeah. Much blood, a worth the trial. Yeah. Seems like that was the good play. And we'll just build that. Hedge woman. So okay, the real next. question here is, is is that the last of his stuff? Definitely not. Is that the end of, of Dear Malekith? Is is the is the big is the big problem finally deceased? God, I hope so. I'm like, I'm not super hopeful. I'm gonna be honest with you there. Yeah, just, I'm not just confident. Throwing it right out there. My confidence is at an all-time low in that regard. Yes. I bumped into the Slaughterhorn tribe. Let me see where he is. Hey, Torox. Oh yeah, you got you got Storag Car. Oh, that's weird. Just end that right to end turn thing and see if he's uh see how he feels about stuff. Yeah, Torox is down for a non-aggression pact and a trade agreement, so that's cool. I'll definitely uh Torox down for a non-aggression pact sounds like the biggest oxymoron I've ever heard. Hey look, I sat down with him, we had ourselves a nice big glass of blood. Um it was only one we had to fight over it. Um it's not, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely not, uh, it's definitely not victory wine in my mouth right now, but yeah. we agreed that, uh, it was much more fun punching, uh, punching our enemies than it was punching each other, and punching each other was incredibly good fun. So I have to go, and I said to him, That's I gotta saying go. saying a lot. I, I said to him, my friend, I have to go and kill, uh, I have to go and kill the white dwarf, and he was like, sounds hilarious, have fun with that. Yeah, resurrecting a, fa uh, a faction uh, may very well be one, uh, one of the uh, one of the beta things that they need they need to uh, to put some <laughs> some attention to because I'm I'm not I'm not 
Well, the funny no, thing is, is you could always do that. Like, for the longest time, that's been a thing that's been in the game, but it sounds like um, yeah. perhaps something's just broken. Yeah, something is super broken. Like, of, of, like, Reforged the Nagel Fer uh, Fairlings, like, exist, but they don't. Consort of Corn. So, let's just see the garrison details. The Templar Cane would probably... Request. Oh god, it's just like two two angry ladies. Sword maiden of the blood god. Yeah, see you later. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go head off to find my Grombendal. There he is. Alright, let's uh let's just full speed ahead. Your feet should bleed. Blood shed awaits. Blood 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 blood. Blood 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 blood. Blood rage is ecstasy. <laughs> You know, you like blood. Ask me how I know. You keep texting me about blood, Valkyr. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta send her over here. Find the fight. And then off to the alt the altar the altar of ultimate darkness. Um So I'm having I'm having big thinks about Mistress things that probably don't require big thinks. Every time we think that's true, it ends up like it ends up being something we probably should have thought about. Where the hell is the Ripperhorn tribe anyway? It's like a Ripper tribe out there somewhere who are like I'm just gonna like non-aggression pack them so they don't like want to get into like problems with me, I guess. It's so weird to say. I'm just like, I don't know where you are, but let's be friends. And they're like, I don't know where I am either. Let's be friends. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get there over there and beat up Grumbendal, but I just don't know what he's, uh... I don't know what he's planning over there, I guess is probably the best way to put it. Um... Like I was thinking of something, but I don't remember what it is. But anyway, um, let's throw out uh, let's throw out corn corruption in the region. Hell yeah, I like a bit of corn corruption in a region. There we go. <laughs> so There's the uh, the uh, the dark elf uh, capital. Uh, it now belongs to me. I'm very interested to see what these two do because it's just it's just a dreadlord and a sorceress. And while my, my garrison isn't particularly strong right now, um, I reckon they could probably still take him. <laughs> I reckon they could probably still take him. I think there's enough there that they could probably just beat the unholy hell out of anyone who stepped up to it. Alright, 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 No one can build on Kragroth Deep because Chaos, because uh, the like you know, Torox owns that, and I'm fine with that. Torox can own, the, own as many things as he wants. These with the Black Pit. Oh, so I I could I could get some serious inroads with uh, with the Empire if I go beat up those Greenskins. <laughs> I love I love that you are I love that you're playing the diplomacy game. Oh no, I am slanesh'ing this shit up. <laughs> the man, the man, the man, y'all, y'all thought cool guy was corn, cool, but the man has been like, he's, he's been a deviant all this time. <laughs> I am slaneshing this shit up. Apparently Hagrafe still exists. Oh, I know where Hagrafe is. Hagrafe is yeah, fucking Malice uh, Darkblade. He's off in the Kale's Wastes at the moment. He's not actually a threat. Um, I'm just he, like, yeah, oh. He's, he's just across from me, and I'm just sort of like, whatever. Like, I'm like he's technically at war with me, but I don't bother him, and he don't bother me. So Clan Clan Se Septic wants a uh, wants a defensive alliance with me, but I'm just going to decline that. Apparently, at some point, I jumped up to twelfth in the in the power rankings. To deceive me, and you will meet your end by I've been fluctuating up and down there, like, uh, like because during uh, during my uh, my time, <laughs> I point to my, uh, my shag off. <laughs> Yeah. It's probably a pretty the good reason for it. Me. Scheme of Doom performed. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Scheme of Doom performed. Someone's just pulled the fucking Sword of Cain out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah, thought yeah, that was more important. Also that. 
Alright, looks like Grumbendal knows I'm coming, and I'm coming for Grumbendal, so let's let's get ready for the ultimate showdown of ultimate uh showdowning. Ultimate dude stinny. The ultimate slap fight of ultimate angry. Like If Malekith is still in the game somehow, I'd love to know where his territory is, because I do not see it. Unless he like Unless he like bought some land in a strange no. place. That Mara it, It's the Cliff of Beasts. Like, 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 do you 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 have a general idea of where the var, uh, where the Varg camp and the monument of Fle uh, the monolith of flesh is? Really, he's got that spot. Yeah, that's so weird. Like, like he's he's just he's just across uh, across the ocean from me. Like, I can see him from uh, from the <laughs> from the Varg camp. No, I'm talking about Malekith, not Malice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, for a second there, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, how how did he build over there? I was starting to get like yeah. worried. I was starting to get a little spooked. Yeah, well, so. well, like, like we're freaking a uh, freaking. All of these elves have the same freaking name. <laughs> they've got how, they've how got you, M A L in it. It's confusing. To keep up with us. Yeah, it's confusing, Un unbelievably confusing. Who the hell do you think you are? So I'm looking at all the different sort of things I can get on here. Man, there's a like. You know, for such a straightforward killer, his his research tree is like a goddamn <laughs> like a goddamn puzzle. Oh dear. Okay. Just gonna It's like like this is my first time playing as like the revamped warriors of chaos, so I'm not sure which is like the optimal path to pursue. I've gone I've gone movement. Because it's just like, I can always use another fight. So I can always run to another fight. And the more, like, all of the benefits that uh, the AI has is uh, is surrounding their uh, their campaign map. Like, mm. like they, they, lo they lose on the battle map 10 out of 10 times. So, uh, like, if you can, if you can, ke uh, can keep, uh, keep on them, while they're uh, they're you know suppressed li uh, like that, then you absolutely should. You just you absolutely have to. Yeah. So I wonder where uh, I wonder where Grumbendal's gonna go because I know he wants to fight me. He declared war on me. Like the dwarves, the dwarves must face me in battle. Or or it will be a shaming against them. Okay, he did not move. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he moved or not. No, he's just he's just hanging out by the by the altar, which is kind of funny in its own way. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, fucking angry dwarf man? What you gonna do when you realize? Reforged for murder. An I... age of rage. What are you gonna do when I come for you? Even here, bad dwarf, bad dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing, I'm bringing the corruption to your region, the buddy. Is unnoticeable in the heat of so what does your army look at, look like anyway? That is a real embarrassing army. That, that's, that's a sad army. <laughs> that's an army that'll give a dwarf clinical depression. Snow will never be a barrier to war. Oh, my garrison lord. He's he's slowly getting like experience because of this, so Um Do I wanna get uh, unlocks bonus income effect for Dart I think that's my next play. So I'll try to get Builder of Glory because that might make me money. We exult oh, in like... this strength. Doesn't say anything about them on here though, so maybe it's a different building than that one. Like, no, it doesn't say. What about on these ones? It doesn't say. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it adds more or something. I need to really grow this building one more time so I can get the vassal stuff. And I'm I'm really I'm really struggling here because uh, like I've got um I've got an excess of of three thousand three thousand money a turn, 
and I could really use a, a, a like a second <laughs> stack to, uh, to go accomplish everything. But damn, do I uh, like? Do I also need all of that money to keep building all? Uh, li like, yeah. I'm not even keeping the minor settlements. I'm literally only uh, only keeping the dark fortress sites, and I still have so much to build. <laughs> I've uh, I, I should have I should like build an army real quick. I'm hoping after I defeat Grumbadal, I'll get a ridiculous amount of money, and I'll be able to do something about that. But we'll we'll see. If I can get if I can get big fat stacks of money from killing the dwarves, I'm gonna make a second stack of dudes. Like just spend a shitload of money and then just beeline beeline them for a dark fortress. Cause the palace of ruin, I gotta take the palace of ruin, and then I can. Uh... It's so weird. The palace of ruin is like. It's the Argol, but the Hmong can claim it. So I don't know, like I could... I could smash my way through the Argol, and then like... Or I could take the Palace of Ruin and like vassalize the Argol, even though the Hmong territory is here. What a weird conflict that is. But in all things, I desire only one thing at this moment, and that is beards. We must collect beards! There comes a time in every... Oh, what's this? Oh, one of my vassals. Um, uh, da, da, da. Whoa, the Black Pit tribe got destroyed. What the fuck happened? Oh, Bretonia to, uh, took over uh, took over the uh, Greenskin area. Kind of lost my chance there. Oh well, what the hell? <laughs> All right, so our old our old friend the dwarves have have abandoned the altar of ultimate darkness. Uh, so I'm going to... Violence and death. I'm going to commit violence and death against it. I'm going to sack it. This aids the cause of war. That will give armor of fortune. Blimlin now rides chariot instead of, uh, instead of uh, a horse. Be blood. So Blimlin's, Blimlin's riding in style now, which is always good to see. That charge bonus is going to get even more bonusy. Um... I could give him the Brass Cleaver, which will boost his weapon strength, probably. Actually, it won't. It'll it'll augment everyone around him instead. What about the Armor of Fortune? Yeah, the Armor of Fortune is a good one for him, so I'm going to give him that. And although Valmir hasn't actually even had a chance to do anything yet, I'll give him... And I cold some stuff. Just a little bit more money. Just a little bit more money. Ooh. And I'll be I'll be confident enough to like go cause problems. So how are you guys? Yeah, they're just out of range. But if I just move Valkyrie here instead. So they can't like attack her. And then I just hop into this stance for a sec. I just get a bit of replenishment up. Oh there's Wolfric! And he only has eight out of uh, out of twenty dudes in his stack. You would better run, cause otherwise I am going to kick your ass. Oh, it wanted me to raid this region. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that was like a mission. I was just like, huh? Huh? It wants me to kill the white dwarf who is running away from me right now, and it also wants me to raid this region. So I may just like flip the raid stance on for a turn and see if I can't like entice them over. In fact, I could just do that now, because I'm out of range of, like, being... Oh, and I also ha I do have an ambush stance. All this time I thought I didn't have ambush stance. I'm silly. It turns out I do. It turns out I could have been ambushing everybody <laughs> all day. It's fine. <laughs> it's actually, like, I don't need to ambush when I'm playing as Valkyr, because I'm just running at the enemy. Like, I demonstrated in the very first battle what she what she can do if I if I'm ever pressed. I feel like if I am going to be fighting the White Dwarf, though, I'm gonna play that battle out. Like, I feel like... like yeah, I'll probably people... play out a fight against Wolfric, because Wolfric. Yeah, Wolfric's a pretty big, big important character, too. He's like a journeyman who is, you know, blessed by the Chaos Gods to just never stop going. He may, like, he may run away, though, because, of, like, <laughs> he does not have the dudes to, uh, to take me on. There he is. Oh, 
Uh, oh, he produced the dudes. <laughs> Suddenly, dudes. Yeah, there's, they, like, he brought in an, enti uh, an entire uh, extra stack. Which is non-trivially large. There we go. Pinbush had discovered. I was apparently raiding the wrong region, so I didn't get anything out of that, like a, a goddamn idiot that I am. Um. Okay, well, well, well. He did say well a lot. Wolfric, I have bad news for you. I have very bad news for you, Wolfric. <laughs> oh, I got ambushed. Save your skulls for me. I guess we're going to play that one out. I guess we are. Yeah. Wow, they actually ambushed me. <laughs> cool guy. Okay. Did you get pranked? I, it seems like I got pranked. If this is the guy that I think it is, though, he's got like no mans, <laughs> so I'm not sure why uh, why he's why he's pulling this trick. But is but... Wolfric nearby? Because I'm pretty sure. No, Wolf... no, okay. no. Like, like we're we're pretty far away from Wolfric. This should be pretty funny then. This... Oh no! Wait, no, no, no! Th those reinforcements. Never mind. Oh yeah, yeah. You're uh, you're uh. That's I'm like fucked. you are. <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> I was going to use Lightning Strike to, uh, to excise <laughs> Wolfric. <laughs> oh my god! I was going to use Lightning Strike to excise Wolfric, and now, uh, now uh, like, I'm completely wow. fucked. Wow. Well, let's try... Like, here's the thing, okay? Firstly, first and foremost, my friend, don't bother giving me any troops. Allow me to tell you that now in an ambush battle in Total Warhammer 3, if you can get to an escape zone at the end of the battlefield, you win. <laughs> or rather, you survive. Yeah, I'm like, like if it's at the end of the battlefield, that's literally where uh, where uh, where the extra reinforcements. But they are might in. not come out in time. Remember, they don't come out immediately. Yeah, I do they... have what like I have I have lightning strike ver uh, version three, which so... means that oh, okay. First of all, pause, 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 pause. It right. literally didn't even give me a, give me any time. All right, let's look. So where is let's... The... yeah? Where is the escape? Where zone is again? my escape zone? There usually is an escape zone. I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see any escape zone. You might be in trouble. Oh, uh, is this it? Is this the escape zone here? No, that's the battlefield edge. That's weird, because I swear I've seen escape zones. Okay. Well... Well, there's like a, a square here. Is that the reinforcement zone? That's the reinforcement zone. I'm looking. I'm just looking. I'm looking to see if there's like a sign, because usually there's just like a spot on the map, and it's like, yeah, if you get here, you don't die. Like, any troops that you have. Maybe it won't tell straight away. Maybe after a little bit, it'll tell you. Okay, well... This guy ambushed you ambushed. by himself. He was like a yeah. dude completely by himself. So you might even be able to rush him down. I mean, that's basically the, pl uh, the plan here. Yeah, just run him down. And I'll, and I'll see if it... See if it says anything. Yeah, he does. He does have some do uh, some dudes with uh, with him, but of like of like, if this is the guy I think it is, he's got like three cards total in his uh, his entire army. Yeah, three kingdoms has had it, and I'm sure I actually played out a battle where it happened. Um, like I'm not having like a fever dream, but there is no noted location. So let's see. Um. Oh god, they got war mammoths. They got war mammoths yeah, coming no, in like, a minute like, and 30 like, seconds. I was, I was... I'm gonna let you fight this battle out. Uh, there is yeah, a... This is, gonna, this is gonna get rough. And I'm gonna give like a, I'm gonna get like a really uh, up close and like personal view of everything that's uh, it's happening that's exciting. Wait reinforcements and bat wait what oh I can just end the battle then end the battle yeah so I yeah I kill I killed the I killed the ambushing forces and the uh, the uh, the enemies the uh, the enemy's reinforcements could uh, couldn't show up <laughs> so I get a heroic victory you did it man you won the battle yeah. <laughs> well that was a hell of a recovery wasn't it oh buddy oh yeah I bet you are sweating. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, like I, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna use, uh, use lightning strike because Wolfric only has, uh, only has eight <laughs> cards. 
<laughs> and this one little dude hiding in a tree named this Bedred. One little dude nearly, hiding in the trees. Nearly spoiled everything. That was like that was some Sengoku era like next generation tactics. Yeah, that ten, was <laughs> ten would be ambushed crazy. again. The Vandred's only problem was is that he didn't like he didn't have Sertha Ek with him. And Sertha, Sertha was coming, man. Sertha was coming. He was ready. Yeah, no, like 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 that that one that one um like so a set of eighteen, I'm actually a little bit concerned about, but it's <laughs> it's all it's of kind the... of God. All of these this is a comment. All of these years of collaborating with Robokai and his luck is finally rubbing off on Cool Guy <laughs> LMAO. Okay, so replenish the army. <laughs> Get ready to go back in. So that was where that took place, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Because like Sir Sirtha Sirtha Ek has a uh, has a lot of dudes, but they're all like marauders, spearmen, and a couple of Norskin warhounds. They're not actually that threatening. So if I can get to Wolfric, which I cannot fucking get to Wolfric because he moved out of range, probably as a result of retreating post battle. Yeah. Yeah. I oh I was man! Gonna tell like this is like... this is. Like if I press the attack, and I and I manage to succeed <laughs> over Sertha, then Wolfric screwed. Who calls me? Valkyr the Bloody. Let's go move Valkyr. On the war path. Yeah. Oh God. Gather strength for the kill. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so I like. I I have okay, so you know what I've got. Let's yeah. fucking do this. Right. Let's fucking do this. I have I have half of an idea. Hopefully, it's an okay idea. Sadly, it looks like I won't be getting the uh, the quest to kill Grombendal succeeded because it's got one more turn in it, and unfortunately, my my troops still need to recover from like a previous fight. I don't even remember what fight it was. Okay, but. man. Okay, man. Lightning strike. And then we are going to use the seduction mechanic. Yep. I'm going to watch this battle as well. I'm going to let you I'm going to let you show off the full mod of your your micro powers. Okay. So now we're seducing those units over. And it's literally just Sertha Ek. <laughs> and Harwolf the Glutton. <laughs> so you've just stole literally everybody he knows. I mean, I, I can auto-resolve this and I lose mostly Marauders. Like, I could actually auto-resolve this and I only lose Marauders. That's up to you. I'm tempted to do that. By the same token, this is such a high-stress situation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quick save <laughs> yeah. and we're going to do this. Right. Like, like, like we're gonna, this this is actually an interesting fight. Let's fucking do this. Right, I'm, I'm the, the thing is, these guys all have gift of slanesh, so like, like they they have way damage. Like they're at minus eight leadership fighting me. Yeah, I'm I'm spectating. I selected the spectate book. Yep. All right. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you really stress yourself out. <laughs> I could use this opportunity to go make myself a coffee, but then everyone would be like. Oh, and you're taking the set. You're taking a settlement too. Yep. Oh, so this God. is gonna this is gonna get interesting. Uh, it's gonna suck. <laughs> so I mean, everyone's going to see why uh, I don't do. It's like don't like doing settlement battles. Because <laughs> it's a, it's just, it's not they're not actually that bad, but it's taken hold. Whereas I like being able to hit enemies and then they just go. The big problem with doing these is there's a lot of wriggling around in like like walkways and, and all sorts of stuff so it, it's a little bit of a pain in the backside yeah they're very micro heavy uh, the enemy can like build turrets to like constantly annoy you like yeah the turrets are <coughs> specifically the re uh, the reason why, uh, why and you I'm... can get choke pointed like this is like a choke point right here ladies and gentlemen look at this look at this thing which I would be more worried about if they had any kind of elite infantry, yeah. but they don't. They're all basic infantry. Yeah. So what I'm go uh, going to be doing is I'm going to be I'm going to be stacking up the mirror guard 
and my three units of Chaos Warriors of Slanesh. And we're uh, and they're they're go uh, going in with Azazel, and we're shooting that gap. We're gonna get uh, get them some support with Marauder Horsemen, and then once that uh, that uh, that gap is opened, like I'm going to use all of my uh, my speedy dudes to uh, to spread out, and also my uh, my seduced Nor uh, Norskin Warhounds, and that's go uh, going to be what my follow up is. So, oh, I've also got Chosen of Slanesh. They're also going to the breach. So I've got a lot of pound-for-pound pound better dudes. So let's go. Okay, we've got chariots, we've got these guys, let's go through there. Four. And the monsters, the monsters, the monsters. Okay. Alright, Lash of Slanesh and Acquiescence. So, going to start with uh, with Lash of Slanesh onto their support. Yeah, they're all they're all moving. They know they know something's up. Okay, warriors come, or the the support comes in through the gap, starts throwing stuff at people. Stand fast, stand fast, stand fast. Wait for support. Yep, start shooting. Start shooting. Get let like get there. Get them in here. Get them committed. Okay, spe like spear tip is in, shaft comes in. Engage just yet. Get another one of those. So those are the chosen. Boom! And now get in there. The Chosen of Slanesh are getting their butts kicked. I need to back them off. I need to back them off hardcore.
like this. I don't like this. Got Manticore in there. Let's see if we can get the Warhounds over here. Azazel. Okay. My trolls. Okay, my trolls are in combat. They're do they're doing their uh, their thing. You dinglings need to chill. You dinglings need to chill. My Manticore is fleeing. That's probably for the best. It got its butt kicked. I'm still not entirely clear on how, but whatever. Get around there and start attacking again. These. Okay, you la uh, launch a side attack. Like, these guys aren't breaking the, uh, the way I would want them to. I was really hoping that they uh, they would be breaking by, uh, by now. Okay, some of them are now breaking. Let's get... Let's get Az uh, Azazel over here. Okay, cool. There's that. Azazel hits you from behind. Try to get the demonettes back here, and then hitting you from behind. Oh my god. You've got to be joking. Okay, um... Can you guys start shooting at that? These chari uh, these chariots, like, please just start start killing some of these guys. Yeah, they've got a lot of barricades go uh, coming on over here. But I have managed to crack uh, uh, like the majority of their forces. They really don't have much left. They've got like two or three cards of dudes pl uh, plus their uh, their lord in the center. I've cracked everything else. No, 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 no. Take and hold that spot. Do not let them keep it. Where are my dogs? Seduced dogs, go! Keep just destroying all of them. Good, you're shattering, you're shattering, you're shattering. More of their dudes are shattering. And, you know, you know what, Mr. Uh, Mr. Manticore, you can just withdraw. Like, you've done enough. You've done enough. You're fine. Oh, wow. I am probably going to lose, uh, lose these chosen. Like, frickin' eight dudes left. 
I actually am just going to tell the Chosen to withdraw as well. They've done enough. They've done plenty. I'm going to tell you guys to back off. Tell you guys to back off. You guys have done great. Like... like Oh my lord. Of course, they're, cho uh, they're choosing, like, the worst way to withdraw. They could possibly do so. So, you guys come over here. You know, I still have a, co a couple of guys. Okay, great. Oh, Lord. Where's Azazel? Yep. The majority of the enemy of the enemy force sallied out to kill uh, to kill those warhounds that I don't get to keep anyway. I don't get uh, get to keep uh, I don't get to keep uh, keep the, uh, those warhounds after I've seduced them. So screw them. My warriors flee! Yeah, they were always bait. Like, they were always bait. Like, don't worry about it. Okay, there's the uh, the enemy commander. Enemy commander gets engaged by... Zazel? Hello? Victory! Here, vi a victory. Hollow victory. Maybe we should just call it a loss? I disagree. I dis a fucking gree. I was just doing cinematic angles the entire time on that fight. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> you like, might actually like to watch what I was doing in Revolt. I, like, I may very well. Like, like that could have gone so much worse. Like it could have. <laughs> I could have done better. I could have definitely done better. But I could have that could have gone well, I mean, but... so much worse. <laughs> I, I could have helped as well, but I just really wanted to capture like cool cinematic angles of like of like Azazel just like swooping on people and things like that, which I got quite a lot of, so I was very happy about that. It was, it was a very it was very uh it was very drone filming. Yeah. That was fun though. Like just it was like you don't usually get to do stuff like that when you're playing by yourself. Like you'd have to watch like a replay of the battle to like Right, and then you'd have to go uh to go do it. You know. If I get a like a really good battle like that. Cause that honestly, that was a fun battle to watch, because there was a lot of ebb and flow to it. And then like a lot of your units that like you didn't I didn't necessarily see at the beginning showed up and were doing cool stuff like the trolls the trolls looked fantastic every time the trolls were on screen <laughs> did they the trolls looked great every time they were on screen because they were just like grabbing dudes by the legs and just like smashing them around it was so good <laughs> okay well like of like that was that was outstanding and if wolfric knows what's good for him he's gonna he's gonna walk away now because <laughs> like away. i just i just gutted hit uh, the the soul of his of his organization there. Yeah, it doesn't look so good for him now. Valkyrie the bloody. Uh. Yeah, let me go back to ending my turn again. <laughs> I smell a potential market machine of collaboration. I mean, <laughs> there has always been a part of me that's been like, I would if I had probably got my hands on and spent some time mastering and maybe got some time to do it better video editing technology, I would just do, like, a narrative campaign. You know, and basically just preface it with, this is a story that never happened. And then just do, like, a story of, like, different characters as, like, as part of my campaign. So, like, you know, obviously playing a lot more dramatically and fun than just Valmir sat in his, ca his castle for, like, years 
waiting for something to happen sort of thing. I swear he'll come out and, and help out eventually. Command men available, right. <coughs> I should do that. I reckon the money I'll get out of, like, blowing up Grombinda will probably give me everything I need. Let's just see how this goes. I'm, 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 I'm very, I'm very sort of... So I'm very sort of, like, you know, timid when it comes to, like, punching in on the dwarves at the moment. Punching the dwarves is usually something that, uh, that you do only with a very specific end in mind. Yeah, and in this particular case, it's ending, uh, ending the white dwarf. Who knows, maybe the Ultra of Ultimate Darkness I could do a battle and then like save a replay of it and then just like pan it around. Wolfric is asking for a peace treaty now. No. Like like we've started this, we are ending this, buddy. Wonder if you could just ask him to like surrender and become a vassal through diplomacy. I can do that, but uh but like he's not he's not uh, not amenable not really to it uh, to it. Like he got like he actually got uh, got a ridiculous amount of um, of uh, seductive influence la uh, last turn, but you know like, like he's still no uh, nowhere near the uh, the point where um, wow he's besieging troll of uh, of like the place I just took with eight cards. <laughs> He's uh, cutting off your replenishment, I guess, in the hopes that it'll. Uh, yeah, it'll that's be a problem. that's his that's his idea, I guess. But you know, like, unfortunately for him, you know, like, I don't care. Like, I can just hit him. Oh no! It's actually it's actually sa uh, saying that that I would have a valiant defeat if I um mm. if I just went in on him. Okay. Well, you're so, gonna get. You're immediately start taking attrition, won't you? So you may have to like. Well, yeah, I've immediately started t uh, taking attrition, and okay, I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. Oh, I can only seduce one of his people. <laughs> so like, I, I can. I can definitely seduce this. Yeah, I guess you did take a bit of a beating. Yeah, I took a big beating, and he's got, uh, and he does have, you know, a big feral mammoth. Mm. And I'm, I bet you that's what's stacking a lot on it. It's gotta be much. that. I'd almost, I'd almost say, if you've got anything that, like, if he's got anything there, like javelins or whatever, you could always grab those guys and use them to just like specifically try to bring the feral mammoth down. <laughs> Yeah, like like he does he does ha have a co a couple of marauder horsemen with throwing axes, and I can get one of them. Mm. Unfortunately, uh, marauder axes are armor penetration specialists for like fighting things like, say, dwarves. Whereas when you're you want javelins because they're anti large. And that's the only problem. Yeah. And by problem, I mean it's just a shame. Like, <laughs> like that's kind of why I got throwing axes, uh, corn throwing axes, guys, because they're armor penetration ranged, which means like you know, good for the killing. Well, I mean, I don't have a choice but to fight this. Yeah. Right. Like, like I, I have to fight uh, to fight this, or I'm screwed. I am going to. So... Uh... No. I, you know, I, like, and I'll be honest with you, I reckon you can win this, so I'm just gonna watch it again. I think I can. L uh, like, the big, the big thing that I absolutely should be able to do is assassinate Wolfric himself. If yeah. I can assassinate Wolfric himself, a lot of the, uh, of this ends up being easier. Right, yeah, and also, fair warning, the, uh, the, the Renaud stack of, um, of mammoths you've got there, that's actually four mammoths. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I saw that. It's a family of mammoths. You do a quest to, like, rescue them. It's kind of cute. But yeah, like, I'll, I'll, like, if I, if I have did it for myself or whatever, I'd probably spend a lot of time, like, doing, like, fade cuts and, like, narration and stuff like that. So I'd want to get a better space for recording and, you know, have time to, to actually sit down and do that. 
but that would like eat into like work streaming and uh <laughs> and let's plays so it's just like yep. not all the other stuff that you do not enough time in the human existence okay so, so let's take a look at the norskins here oh well i will not remain silent this time i'm gonna See, this is the this is the feral Babith. looking looking pretty much like he spent a little bit too much time in the chaos wastes, and then there's the little family of them over here. Oh, hey, thank you. And here's Wolfric the Wanderer, uh, astride a horse. They bit they made the horses bigger and chunkier, and even then Wolfric it still looks like way too big on it. But that's just you know that's just Wolfric. I like the shield, Wolfric. The dude, uh... They're just kind of impaled, skinned, bits and pieces on him left. Yeah, so it's got a lot of good anti-armor... Like, the thing is, is, like, those Berserker guys are anti-armor. And I would say that's probably the one thing that, like, you lack is armor. So I wouldn't exactly be too yeah, worried like, about Slamash, those. Yeah, like, I'm I don't exactly do armor. Yeah. So, you're not... I don't have too much trouble with them, I don't think. Like, my general plan here is to get the chariots the and though. the demonettes off onto the side and try to get uh, get them to, uh, to tie up Wolfric. And then once Wolfric is, is um, occupied, that's when Azazel swoops in. Yeah. That's my uh, my general strategy here. Given the old spicy swooping, pretty much, you know, like, like he's got to be distracted though. <laughs> of, of, of like if 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 they if they fight on equal terms, of like I think Wolfric will actually win, just because Azazel is uh, is already really wounded. Yeah. yeah, he was doing some pretty hard work before. Yeah. So first things first, we're gonna uh, we're gonna put. The Berserkers out front. What you cherish most. I want to see piles of dead. I'm unclear what he thinks he's doing right now. Rearranging his lines so that they look exactly the same as they were before, except slightly more stretched out. Yeah. He's, I can smell it. he's just got everyone wandering. And now he's heading for the Dark Elf encampment. And then he's stopping. I did see the where winds meet thing. And I was kind of like, okay, that's definitely a whole lot of, uh, of like, like the, the Wuxia stuff. I, I... You, okay. The thing is, and if and idiots want to do this, then we'll do this. And the thing with me is, is I see a lot of stuff like that, and I'm just kind of like, because uh, I see a lot of trailers for a lot of like similar games, like that. That's just like the 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 mystical Chinese martial arts sort of thing, and they do kind of blend in a bit <laughs> to me. Uh, I don't mean that as any way to say mean, but um. Yeah, they do kind of blend in a bit. The the one being made by Team Ninja Ninja has stood out a bit solely because it seems to actually be um, a bit more of the. Uh, oh god, is that his boat? Yeah, that was his boat. Yeah, he just he just threw his boat at me. I, I completely missed it. It looked like a toy boat sailing off in the distance. It looked so funny. Come on. Oh, I should really turn the gore up. I might do that once we finish this battle, because the gore is the gore is unsatisfactory. Like there's been like little splatters of blood, and everyone's been getting coated a little in blood. But I I think we need like fountains. I think we need big gouts and fountains of like gore, or I'm not gonna be satisfied. I'm not sure why they're just letting me t uh, take one of their units like uh, like this. This is like drop. This is like dropping a pawn in chess. <laughs> Well, you see, Warfect the Wanderer is famous for wandering, so he can't ha he can't sit still and he can't pay attention to any of these battles that are taking place here. You have to understand, the most important part of fighting a battle is actually standing still and getting hit in the face with arrows. Yeah. 
Oh, there you go. Okay, Wol Wolfric himself is sallying. Mm hmm And <laughs> this is the one of his okay, units you cool. seduced, He's isn't it? He's going straight in on me there. That's fine. Get Team 5 ready. Here come the now feral get a Zazel ready. No, he's pulling out, and you're... <laughs> and then back in again. Okay. Well, that guy lost an arm, but it's just like, I feel like I want to see more body parts flying on a general sort of basis. The, 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 the shiny setting game I'm looking forward to is the Team Ninja one because it's set during the Three Kingdoms era and I am partial to a lot of the uh, the stuff that's like depicted during that. I think it's pretty cool. And they are going for uh, they are going for some interesting sort of mechanics in there, but I don't know, like I feel like I see a lot of stuff that sort of goes for like the the, the, the non time specific mystical Chinese kung fu stuff and I don't know. I really just don't know. <laughs> like it doesn't really resonate with me at all. I see the dude Ah, oh, he's running across the, he's running across the water and stuff like that, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. I much, I much prefer it's like the dudes there standing there, you know, in a ruined city, instead of like a grassy field, and like and like fighting against like things there. Like I saw the thing with like the big swords descending from the sky, and I'm like, eh, that's cool, but like. I'm probably using the wrong term when I say that, but it's just like... Where Wins Me is explicitly set in the Ten Kingdoms period around the Tang Dynasty. I don't really know much about that setting, to be honest. <laughs> I don't... I, it doesn't really... That's probably also why it doesn't resonate with me. Like, I know enough about Three Kingdoms stuff that I really sort of... Really get into. There goes the boat again. <laughs> That bow just looks so scuffed. I love it. It looks really dumb. Dude just keeps throwing his boat at it. What is Mammoth doing? So, but, like, one team of Mammoths got, uh, got, uh, got preoccupied with attacking my Demon Axe. Which is fine. Like, that's a useless thing for them to attack. The, uh, the like, the family of, uh, of them got into a fight with my uh, with my chosen and lost somehow question mark hmm. I I will say like I really like in terms of like stories I am a huge fan of the water margin like I couldn't I couldn't recite the names of all of the all of the uh, the stars off by heart but I I loved that story I loved the characters in it I loved how every, like they, it, and like, like towards the end, the the narrator just turns into the announcer from Dragon Ball Z. It's like, what will happen in the next part of the story? Read on to find out. Like that, that shit. I loved that, uh, but I also just generally love the story as well. Uh, it, it was a great, it was a great sort of um, like you know, uh, like play play stupid games, win uh, stupid prizes simulator. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Break, break. Come on, Wolfric, die! Wolfric, you gotta go. You're getting beaten on by by twalls and by everything else. Oh, he's so de there. He shattered. He shattered. He shattered. He's gonna get everybody else to shatter too. I mean, what, what we need to do is take is take him down. Like we need to like actually take him down. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was complaining about not enough blood, but that mammoth is definitely supplying the blood. Yeah, oh that, god, like, that control. guy! Oh, that single dude just got eviscerated. He's a torso now. He's all meat. There's a lot of just torsos here. Okay, so... Oh, that, that was... Down. That's the, uh... Oh, I thought his arm was okay. all, like, laid behind him. If it was his arm was, like, laid on his own back, that's, like, the germ of death pose. But it wasn't. God, the mammoths just caused so much death and suffering. This is a great shot, actually. It's the it's the one mammoth that's left too. 
there. Come on, break, break. Yes. <laughs> Here at victory. This one I'll agree with you, game. I didn't think Wolfric had the balls to come after me. They got him. He almost got me. That, that was a very near thing. That that was a that was a wonderful shot I had at the end though, of just like a large mess of just <laughs> dead bodies and like spears sticking out of the ground, and in the distance it's just like the mammoth was roaring. You'll notice, like with the map, like particularly with the the regiment of renown, like I just basically didn't touch it. Like, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's just not. It, it's fine. It just left, did it? It just went. I've got to go. Yeah, it's just like you know what? I, I got I got places to be, better places than here. The water margin was always funny to me, just because so many so many characters just like act extremely selfishly impulsively and then like ho like get punished for it and then like meet up with people who are s who did similar and they just go we're actually really the good guys here and they nod and the story goes they were at least strong enough to get away with thinking they were the good guys but yeah Wolfric got his uh got his noggin bonk there okay oh man bloody feuder Alright. Valkia. Okay, now. How is she doing on this? I lost five cards in that. But I unlocked two new regiments of renown. Okay, I'm just gonna maintain the siege <laughs> there, because if I continue the siege, I might actually, like. Grombendal might actually come out and fight me. Um, I really should just tell Valmir to actually join this battle. Because it's like, dude, like, just get over here. You might actually arrive in time to take part, and then like that will probably go pretty good. Spare none. So let's look at the skill points here. Valmir. Oh, okay. I probably should do that first. Whatever. No, no point in sitting in the house doing nothing, buddy. You gotta get out there and enjoy life. I've almost got enough to level up the Dark Fortress to another level, which would be nice. I guess that's it. Is that an actual army she's growing over there? Oh, that's Malekith. Oh, he's got the Circle of Destruction. I don't think he's going to go so good, though, because on one hand, um, on one hand, Welch has pursued Malekith all the way to his, like, settlement. And at the same time, there's also a stack of ogres on their way over to cause problems for him. Well, so uh, with a little bit of luck, Malekith will be a solved uh, a solved puzzle. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to turn around and head back in there and beat him up again. <laughs> it's like I'm busy fighting the dwarves. Please stop. <laughs> Garrisoned lord not moved. Yeah, I, I, I think I think uh, I think Azazel's earned a break for a turn or two. Yeah, the, the... after all of that. I, I I read Water Margin along with a friend, um, and we both just would constantly just make jokes about like about like getting exiled because like the opening of the like the the way the story goes is that just so many characters end up getting like exiled, <laughs> and it's and it is great and I love it. Like they get put in like they get put in stocks and they get sent to somewhere else. And then they, uh, and then, like, and then, like, they get in trouble there. And there's this one guy, um, who's, like, probably the, f the best character I've ever seen. Um, I think his name is Lee Q. Um, and his entire thing is, is he's got, like, <laughs> Malekith is like, hey, how about a peace treaty? I'm like, dude, I don't care. Have have fun with the other guys that are like surrounding you and beating you up right now, because I don't care. But like, he his entire thing is he's got like ex like extremely dark skin and just no chill. And his answer to like literally everything is just I'm gonna stab it. And um and he and he has axes. And there's just a part of the story. Well, actually, there's constant parts in the story once he's introduced where he just causes problems. All because he just wants to, like, take part in everything that's going on. So he's basically, like, the worst puppy. Like, I don't want to spoil it too much for you because he's so funny. 
Like, to the point where even at one point, one of the, like, the major characters just yells at him for being such a chuckle fuck. Okay, so apparently Clan Septic's out of the game. Uh, I don't know, I didn't do it. <laughs> it's like, Clan Septic has been destroyed, and I'm like, good. I'm sure, I'm sure that's a, that's, that's oh, a thing man. for them. I'm like, on one hand, I would really like to, I'm gonna like, keep this siege going. I want skull to fight Grombindal. I do, I really do. I want to fight and siege fight, if I have to. But I was just like, I don't want to do it just yet. I'm gonna wait till my allies turn up, uh, or maybe buy him some troops in the process. And then we'll see. And maybe, cause, you know, maybe he'll bring his boys back and they'll fight soon too. I don't know. I don't know who kill killed Clan Septic though. Like, I don't even, I don't even You got me. Yeah, I don't even know. They were just like, hey, be friends. I'm like, eh. And they're like, can we have military access? Um... And we'll give you money. And I said no, and I should have said yes, because then they died the next turn. Uh, so I would have had money with no obligations whatsoever. But, you know, like, that's just that's just it sometimes. I had, like, because I could not see them, I had no context as to how much danger they were actually in. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. Were they in actually, danger? speaking of diplomacy, can I see you yet? No. Sag. Not yet. We are still, we are still a little bit of a distance away from each other. I'm not sure we'd get much out of seeing each other anyway, except, except I would have to see that smug face of yours, you know, like just makes me, you know, that smash face. Literally Vince McMahon, like that's me, all I am. Makes I'm me want to. Friggin' Vince McMahon. I see, I see you doing smash things over there, and it's like, oh, oh god. <laughs> Ragnar Dawi Breaker. Okay, sure. Uh, can I borrow him for a second? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, it's just, that's just a dude I see. Oh, dear. I got someone named Gesu Spearbreaker. Which is, you know, that's fine. Do what you gotta do, man. I don't, I don't got these spears here. Man, I like, fucking, um... Alitha Nye, the Shadow King, does not like me at all. Um, like, he's got a massive aversion towards me, but he, he's coming around very slowly because I've been beating up Malekith. That's <laughs> so funny to me as a concept. It's like, I don't like you, I don't like what you do, but, by that same token, keep going. I mean, what, like, what are the, what are the silly things about, about me fighting the, uh, the, um, wor uh, the, the, uh, World Walkers? Is that a number of their, of their commanders ha have gifts of Slanesh now. So I'm like I'm constantly seducing them, just because uh, because every uh, everybody's got marks of Slanesh on uh, on like the back of their head. <laughs> Everyone's got these like really weird tramp stamps. Yeah, just like uh, like, like right at the base of your freaking skull. It's not gonna fight, huh, Grumpy? Gumby don't want to fight. Oh, sword of Cain claimed. Cool. By one of Alariels again. I feel like that just happens constantly. Building upgrade available. Hooray! I'm going to wait a turn though because right now it's plus ten percent for all my building construction. So building that would actually be like the worst idea I could have. I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow. And by tomorrow I mean next turn, and that's at the point when Valkyrie and. Uh, Valkyrie and Grombendal will finally have their fight. And it'll be an actual siege battle. Um, well played out, and you can, like... You can help me, or you can watch. I'm fine either way. I'll probably help ya. <laughs> like, my army's not right. going to be able to crawl in too easily. Well, actually, it will once I knock the door down. And I do have a guy whose speciality is knocking the door down. And I'll also have a dude whose speciality is reinforcing me for a change. Because I gotta get these guys some levels. I gotta get these guys some actual time in the sun. Because <laughs> they're just getting, they're getting nothing done. I've been, I've been wasting them. I've been like, they've, they've not been making their money back at all. So 
they're going to trail along with Valkyr and get into some scuffles. And eventually they'll oh, become the big enough and strong enough. Because my kind of hope was, you know, subdue the subdue the northern land so it's just, you know, everyone who is here is like, you know, a big fan of chaos. And a big fan of like being, you know, chin-strokingly evil and malicious. And then I was going to be like, I'm going to Cathay, see you guys later. And I was going to like sail across the sea and just like start burning down China. Um... <laughs> you know, not China. Might have to get to that one next time, cause the entire uh, the entire make everybody love chaos thing is be uh, is is uh, proving a little bit more uh, more problematic than I thought. Mm -hmm. Well, I, didn't like, I genuinely I, yeah. thought I would be done subjugating Norska by now. Yeah. Like I genuinely thought I would. They will be dominating. All right, Grumby. You done, you done goofed. It might be a decisive fight. Your boys might be wounded, but I feel like the white dwarf out of everybody here. We gotta fight this battle. Oh yeah. Spare I'll, I'll, I'll take care of the general, uh, the general infantry. So you, you can, you can focus on, uh, you can fo uh, focus on cool micro. Sure. I've only got like three siege towers and a battering ram, so. <laughs> the expectation is low casualties. My expectation is big violence. Allies, Ohio. God. <laughs> uh dear. I true. I truly am so very very proud of Ohio. So yeah, we're actually going to be attacking a dwarven, and th like, I don't know if it's like this is going to look like a dwarven hold or, or like an elven building or what. So we're not going to really see it until we get in. But they have done up a lot of the, the the maps for like sieges a little differently now, which is kind of kind of partially the reason why I did this is I wanted to see what like the castles for for some of these factions would look like. And honestly, like I want to kill some dwarves. I, I like it's really funny. Everyone else is always like you know kill all the elves, kill all the elves. And I'm just like, look, I enjoy killing elves as much as anybody, but I really really like dwarf tears. I don't think there's like anyone who cries quite like dwarves do when they get their butt kicked. Got a lot of ominous loading in. <laughs> my, my mouse, like... <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so it is a Dark Elf territory. So that's good. Alright, so let's take a look here. Let's take a quick look. Man. So this is going to be a colossal up fight. Yeah, this is going to be a clusterfuck. Yeah, so I'm going to give you infantry. <laughs> which means I'm going to be giving you most of my army. Chaos so there you go. I'm gonna keep all of my guys that require a bit more micro. Here's the question though, how do I wanna do this? Yeah, like we should definitely we should def <coughs> definitely discuss um See the like Shagoth scale. The Shagoth can take the I'm thinking I'm thinking attacking from this direction's fine. Um, the Shagoth can definitely punch that door down. Um, I mean, here's a question: do Do you want a two pronged attack? Because uh, because there are other gates that uh, that we uh, that we can we can go after. Where's my Where's my honestly? Lighter? I yeah, think I think Corn works. I think we work best just hitting enemies with like our full force. Okay. So so we're full we're full for a uh, force forward down here or yeah. never mind like right here. Okay. Like, I've got a bunch of dudes that will be well, able to cause problems once they get in, but they can't really do anything else right now. Valkyr, however, will be able to just vanguard versus, deploy and okay. immediately start killing guys on the parapets. <laughs> That's gonna... I'm, 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 I, lo I, lo I love how my response to all these things is, I could just have Valkyr deploy further ahead. Sadly, I can't deploy the Shoggoth ahead. Okay, I can first of all... Drop that siege equipment, and then you drop that siege equipment. You're taking that, and the blood and the blood letters get a siege tower. All right, like of like, it's absurd to give uh, to uh, to make the blood letters, freaking crew a battering ram. That's nuts. Yeah. Oh, I don't worry. Valkyrie is going ahead because that's what Valkyrie does best. Valkyrie, Valkyrie goes. You guys have fun. I'm going to go fight the enemy. I'm going to pick uh, like an enemy unit of crossbows or something on the on the ramparts, and she's going to land on them, and she's going to make them cry. 
Like, and everybody else is gonna like slowly approach. I might have my horse riders. So I'm gonna have your one, your two. Where are the bullet? Okay, okay, there we are. Blood letters. Three. And I may even just have the riders sort of ride up to the to the front and like throw stuff, but I want them committing to like that afterwards. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Scarbrand would be terrifying with the with the with his wings restored. <laughs> so yeah, you ready, cool guy? Give me no. Give uh, give me a, a few more mo uh, moments. No I worries. need Take to. All time you need. And uh, remember, I do have reinforcements coming as well from this angle. So they'll be here in like. Yeah, those are seconds. all going are going to default to being yours. So that's a big fat load and not my problem. Yeah, I won't be. I won't give you more than this because I feel like that's a that's a good mix, and I'll just send those guys attack move on to problems when they arrive. Okay. All right, I should be good. Okay, I'm gonna start the battle. And we're in. Go. go. Yeah, they've they've very accurately go. guessed what I'm going to cause problems with. So here go. we go. 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 One. And they're leaving. Yes. Okay. Two. Alright. Exalted hero of yeah, so you got one I like how you got one battering ram going in one direction, I've just got the Shagov going in the other direction. Uh is that the Shagov? Yeah, that's Ohio man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like I, I Knock knock it's I really Ohio! I really should I should have uh, looked at that one because uh, because uh they're like, like the battering ram and the Shagoth are, go, are going to uh, going to the same place. Oh, okay. Because I didn't great. say I was gonna do that. Sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm a silly Billy. It's fine. Like, like I've got I've got the I've got the whole uh, the halberdiers beating down the uh, the other gate for uh, for the moment. Well, the gate's about to explode. One more. Oh, that was a shot. <laughs> All right, lads, let's see what you got. I want to see what you got. Go ahead and just drop that siege equipment. You're not going to need it. Valkyrie, again, the troops ran away from her while she was trying to fight, so... Freaking miners are throwing blasting char uh, charges from down below. That's frustrating. Under my control! Oh man, the blood letters are getting their asses kicked. Oh, I I just lost the blood letters. Fuck me. Oh no wonder they got sandwiched between uh, between dwarves with great weapons and hammerers. Okay, Valkyria sees the white dwarf and she is heading for it. Valkyrie can handle that. I think I should send the Shagoth up to cause problems. Rage and fury. Max Father's Marauder! So be it! For Valkyrie! Glorious Brutal! For orders of call! Kill! It is done! You gotta get in there and fight like crazy. Skull 
Okay, your flank is definitely secure. <laughs> like they they are crumpling over here. Probably took more uh, more casualties than I should have, but I got him. Yeah, Valky's got fucking Valky's got this shit unlocked. Get a good angle though. It's like, boy, I've got like a fight to pay attention to. Hell no, I'm gonna watch these two people stab each other. Yeah. Right. Now, get Skyward. Because you're pretty much the only person that can deal with those guys. <laughs> Building destroyed, enemy building destroyed, enemy building destroyed. Yeah, well, there we go. Yeah, that's 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 it for them. I'll just save a replay of that. Yeah, well, you can comment on exactly uh, on exactly how uh, how much extra trouble I I had on my side for like no reason. <laughs> I. I'm still annoyed that I, uh, that I lost the blood letters. I compl I, compl I completely did I didn't see how uh, how they were getting pinched by uh, by the two most dangerous um enemies on that side. Ah, uh, it's all good. We managed to we managed to fell the white dwarf, so that's more important to me. <laughs> What's important to me is that you're safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah Val I would not want to be a gyrocopter pilot and see Valkyr coming towards me. <laughs> that would be like, oh, oh no. Valkyr is literally the only part, like, it could be worse, it could have been a bloodthirster, you know. Like, she's li literally the only thing I could get, really, to get up there to fight them, so. We definitely, uh, we definitely broke their back. And Valkyr, Valkyr got the kill on the White Dwarf, which was the most important thing. <laughs> and I ignored everything else. The Skull Crushers um, continued to fight at the front of the battlefield and took no damage, which just continues to be one of those things that makes you wonder, what the hell? They keep managing it. So let's, uh, again, let's sack it. it matters not from whence the blood flows. There we go. So now I cause terror when I'm fighting dwarves. They love it. Um... Ward safe, Valmir, Valmir gets a Chaos Steed, Acolt gets a Chaos Steed, I can now go Dragon Ogres. Uh, I uh, defeated the Lord's forces in army, so that's good. Yes, it is so. Alright, let's Behold let's take it now. Battle brings conquest. And let's repair it and build a a, a ritual hut. Valkyr the bloody. Yeah, so I don't have any, any new units to play with in that regard, so I probably should just grab myself another Marauder unit. Weakness so is not an option. Recruit them back up to a to an acceptable state. Alright. Alright, Valmir, I'm gonna send you back home, because your job is going to be to build up a force and assault that location over there. And hopefully by doing that, we'll get enough money to, like, cause problems. Well, I've got eyes on Bellacor. He's fucking horrifying. 
I got eyes on terror and fear. We'll definitely get the recruitment cost down. God smile. What about you, buddy? You ready to you ready to step up and become a guy on a horse like you were always meant to be? The Gore Queen! Alright, so Valkyr with more big charges and more melee attack. So Greater many, killing ability. I don't know how many more of those quests I gotta do for her. Uh Blimlin. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Archeon cracks his neck. <laughs> yeah Archeons Archeon is I would say, even though like Bellacor is like the murder guy, like he's really, really tough and strong. Um nah. like Archeon's got it in spades at the moment. Cause he got that. Alright, so Ohio Prime, six turns to build that up. By the way, since you continue to not be able to see it, the dumb gimmick that uh, that I'm running with, uh, that I uh, that I'm run uh, running with um, with my shit is that all of my my um, black fortresses or dar or dark for uh, fortress sites are na uh, named after uh, Quebecian cities, <laughs> and all of my heroes are na uh, are named out uh, named after pro independence Ke uh, Quebec figures. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, who's just rating us? Because now. that is Canadian Ohio. Yes, thank you for, <laughs> thank you, thank you for the rate. I will, I will admit, I, 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 I'm explaining how I'm I, I had, so I had originally planned on, um, on like naming, naming like my force Canada and having my like the Ohio Prime be uh, <laughs> Quebec. So like you, you and I are on the on the same very <laughs> exactly horrible wavelength. Exactly the same wavelength. And like everybody else should be worried about that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we just we just beat up the White Dwarf, and uh, now we're gonna have to go and get rid of uh, some of his territories. Do I? Can I? Where are my mission lists? Let's just. That's not my mission list. How? What? My brain? Oh, my brain? Use you? I, uh, 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 well, it's disappeared now. So I've just got to get another two more. So raise a sec. And there's like two two more of these. I can't believe really I have to go all the way to deal with these though. Like. Dwarves really got some answering to do. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Uh, we're all here. Uh, we're all here just doing uh, doing some violence against um, doing violence against the uh, the denizens of the old world. I'm playing with cool guy, and he is playing as Azazel, and uh, he's he's attempting to he's attempting to um, woo the races of men. He's attempting to woo oh. many men, and uh, and it's many men. And many, it's turning into uh, a lot of a lot of punching Norskins at the moment for him. So, <laughs> but we 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 managed to managed to eke out a, a little bit of victory against uh, <laughs> a whole lot of angry Wolfricks. Um, who do you want me to assassinate? Her? She is very far away, my friend. I <laughs> I am. I don't. I don't need the terrifying. Whoa, mask whoa, 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 whoa! What? What's wrong? I ordered an attack on oh, Serpent what? Jetty, and um, Azazel for some reason thinks that uh, he needs to. Oh, oh that, my God! Yeah, that can be a bit of a painful thing that happens. Yeah, I know so exactly like, what you're like about. he. Yeah, he thought he thought he needed he needed to walk a walk around the entire bloody continent because <laughs> it would it would up. yes exactly. So I just lost an entire turn to that garbage. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's fine. Jesus, Bellacor is really imposing. Yeah, he definitely is. All right, I'm gonna. I've built, I've built Valmir an army uh, that's going to start absolutely draining my capacity to actually like upkeep that army, but I'm going to hopefully make money back from beating up dwarves uh, while I send him on to beat up Malekith because I'm just tired of it. How's Vampire Coast uh, under more Empires? If Vampire Coast Vampire Coast sounds like the most comfortable, uh, like you know, like if you're playing as like especially. Um, as like what like Sartosa or uh, or the Dreadfleet, I imagine it's probably a pretty cool and comfy adventure. Oh, good job, Jackass! Freaking, uh, I I had an exalted hero go uh, go try to uh, try to assault a hero uh, like a 
an enemy like enemy units ju uh, just to train himself up a little bit. Roll the freaking three percent to critically fail. <laughs> He's have to have a nap now. Good job, idiot. <laughs> Can't win them all. Oh uh, dear. The enemy toys with our land. All right. I should be able to start violencing some dwarves next turn. Yeah, Valkyrie got the kill on the white dwarf. I was very happy about that one. <laughs> she got the she got the spear stab. Once I get once I get her shield, uh, I probably just have to look in and see what her quest battle is going to be like. So that that would make me that would you know that would make me happy to finish it up. Oh. Uh, the Ripperhorn tribe is attacking one of my allies. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. Well, this is this is certainly embarrassing for them, I guess. Uh, if you consider, like, how much they sent at me to how it apparently didn't kill anyone in Ohio. Uh, thanks for the- thanks for the money, I guess. You- you absolute nitwits. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? And he died. <laughs> Be the best! Alright then. Thanks for upping my recruitment costs. So, like, how much more money okay, does that so do I even get? Really gotta go the long way around. If you say so. Yeah, I'm sort of feel like I'm about to, like, send Valky in a direction that's gonna, like, take a hundred years to get back out of, but. But damn it, I gotta kill some dwarves. I gotta, I gotta de-dwarf the area. There's like their beard hair is getting in everything. All right, let's let's hit the auto resolve on this one because it ain't it ain't the worst. And then I gotta sack it for the money. This aids the ancestral thong. Get the pigeon plucker pendant. A little bit of alliteration to go with it. And then occupy. Oh it. my lord! The my. <laughs> my my Chaos Sorcerer rolled a 2% to wound himself. <laughs> I can only shake my head. I can only, I can only shake my head at this sheer amount of, like, chicanery going on in your, uh, in your armies. These this is, idiots. This is some slipping on These banana peels. These morons. Just everyone just, like, falling over each other. There's just... <laughs> It's like a Three Stooges sketch over here. Alright, so we got the Builder of Glory research done, so... Um... So, interesting note, by the way. In another seven turns, um, this, uh, this fight I have, I have with, with, um, the world, uh, the world walkers is go, uh, going to, uh, going to end regardless. Because, of, like, just from fighting me, they are... Like they've got so many gifts of slanesh and so much, uh, so much temptation on, on them that if I just did nothing for another seven turns, <laughs> but, uh, like I'd be I'd be able to for, uh, force vassalize them. Excellent. So you're about to enter. I'm the... going to continue to do things, of course. So you know, there's that. You're but about to unleash the seduction. How goes the quest to save and or destroy the world? Well, Nagaron's looking a little alright now. Uh, there's certainly a lot less elf going on. Um, but there's still pockets of elf down here. Uh, I'm just currently rooting out a dwarven infestation, because the dwarves are Consort infesting this this mountain line. And I really would just like them to go, you know. God, I almost want to kill those ogres, too. <laughs> it's like, and I'd like to eat, I'd just like to, like, kill an ogre as well. And for some reason, like, one, like, stack of beast men were just like, Oh, I'm gonna attack one of your places, and then they did it, and then they lost. And I still don't know how they lost. It was, like, it was confusing. <laughs> there was a lot of, there was a lot of just them lying down and just, like, fading away. <laughs> they declared, in the worst case, they declared war on me, and I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna, I guess I'm fighting now. And then they just like they lost to like five dudes. And remember when we had almost two hundred and eighty factions? I remember yeah. that time. Yeah, that was uh those were lofty days, weren't they? We've now lost over a hundred factions. Just over a hundred factions have uh, have exited the game. Mm -hmm.
Wolf Wolfric is huh Wolfric uh, is is offering me two thousand bucks to peace treaty. <laughs> I'm tempted to take it just uh, just because uh, because mm -hmm. like, uh, like I said he's mine in seven turns regardless. Yeah, well, I mean that's always an option. Yeah, I'll take it. I've got other stuff to do. Yeah, the peace treaty I think also will will enhance your ability to. Uh, to yeah, it did slurp actually. His... Holy crap. To, to like you know that will make it easier for you to vassalize him through diplomacy surely because that counts as another contract, and if you can then use that to like get into other treaties and things with him, then that probably do it. Yeah, too. well, Nord, yeah, Nordland, um, Nordland, you... uh, defi uh, definitely, definitely, ju uh, just declared war on me, so that was a good call. Yeah, there you go. One, one, one foe leaves, another foe enters, and they still have N O R in the name. So, you know. Red ruin on them. Is that the gun the game wanted me to beat up? Hag Green, uh, dare I do this? Dare I subject myself to the exact same tomfoolery you just subjected yourself to? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the really dumb thing you did. I'm going to also do it now. At a 32% chance of success. Um. Okay. It hasn't actually told me whether it succeeded or not. Okay, it failed. But he now has the ability to be devoted to corn. Hooray! I might just devote him to corn then. 1,500, huh? Decorate Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, I'll get it all back. And now you're the... I'm gonna give you the pigeon plucker pendant, because obviously you're gonna be fighting a lot of flying enemies. I shrug. I shrug to the audience. Do you have to assassinate anybody? You do not have to. Oh yeah, yeah. If you assassinate someone, he'll, he'll you know, he'll get even more assassinated. So that's nice. Um, I'm not sure how this is gonna go now if I try and attack, uh, try and attack Malekith with this stack. Because I think he's got a pr no. Actually, he's just got nothing but dread spears, so this actually might not be a problem. <laughs> This might not actually be a problem at all. Hey, Valky, are you ready to kill more dwarf? I know you are! Look at this guy over here. Ah, do it, it's fine. Look, see? They'll even, they'll even join the battle and wipe themselves out for us. Uh, there we go. And that should get us even more bonuses against dwarves. Luckstone. And there we go. We get our demon shield. And now, um, enemy leadership for Slanesh forces that, that come near me. Uh, upkeep of minus 20% for corn demon units. I wish I had one of those. I look over... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. So now... Um, Bringer of glory. Now we just conquer this. Corn dominates here. Who the hell are these people? And there we go. The ancestral throng. Always be blood. The ancestral throng have been dethronged. Um, let's just do that again and repair that. The Gore Queen. All right, so. And I bet, I bet more than anything. Uh, the minute I'm like, okay, now I will go over and fight Malekith, or something like that. And the game will just be like, oh, actually, uh, now, now the Tomb Kings want to fight you. And it's just like, no, stop. Valkyr, what you got for me, Valkyr? We're just going to keep making you big and toasty and strong and killy. Just so killy. And eventually we'll, like, give points to like He's like, we don't even really need to buff the, the red tree at all. Everyone's yes, really strong. Champion. They're so strong, it's like, why would you bother? Alright, wound maker. Now we start, now Bloomland starts his, his, his growth to becoming the big stab. Oh yeah, commandment. Yep, let's just do that then. Everyone's getting, everyone's getting commandments. Okay. I'm just wondering how if Malekith is going to get out of this one. I've got, I've got I've got enough money now. I can throw more dumb units into the army. 
And, and I'm, I may just do that next turn. Because all he's got are, all he's got are dudes with pointed sticks. Okay. Apparently, all he needs are dudes with pointed sticks. I'm just going to retreat. <laughs> he slipped into a raiding stance, which honestly means that his dudes are going to be wound, winded if I fight him. Um... Yeah, he's got a lot of dudes with pointed sticks. I don't know why the game was like, he's so much stronger. I feel like the guy's putting too much weight towards Malekith in that fight. Because it's literally just the army of steps. I'm gonna... I'm definitely gonna, like, uh, mint my new unit of, like, heroic uh, heroes of corn by, uh, by running him over. Okay, so what do we got here? Unbridled ferocity for control and leadership. For overpowering force for more tribute from vassals. I'm gonna go with mass executions. To uh to just bring in more control. Okay, the Ripperhorn tribe is dead. I don't think anyone really minds that at all. And nobody misses them. Right. Everybody's so... al already asking who. Yeah. I'm sorry, what was that? You had a what now? Oh I, I know how to make this go better. I know how to uh I know how to I know how to solve this Malekith problem. Alright, so Malekith. You you had a lot to say before, didn't you? Yeah, you're running. <laughs> you're running now. Running now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You're not so tough now I've I've bought like Shagoths into my army, huh? Well not Shagoths, but like dragon ogres. Alright, see you later. <laughs> and fuck you anyway. Uh do I yeah, let's just replenish my army, because I'm gonna keep him rolling, baby. So there we go, Malekith defeated, now I've got... Oh, a path to glory has opened up. Do I... Corn Lord? Corn Lord? Yeah, Corn Lord. Oh, he actually looks really good. Valmir, you look fantastic. Unfortunately, now I've gotta, like, go all the way back up the old path again. <laughs> Let's take a look at him. Oh yeah, look at that helmet. Beautiful. He's uh He's he's ready to go. He's ready to fight. He's ready to do the big slaps. Uh, actually now I think about it. Blimlin, um have the lock stone. Just you know No one's using it. You can have it. Uh and Valkia, actually equip your shield. It's weird, like they used to just be an auto equip, but for whatever reason they don't do that now. Hatch woman! Okay, Het Woman, let's go. Oh god, he's gonna declare war on me the absolute second I go anywhere near him. Do I just run the skeletons over? Do I just continue my bloody terror southwards? I feel like I do. Press on. I feel like I do. He's even got his dudes just waiting in, in ambush. The plains around Korn's throne are hotter. I'm just gonna like give her a turn, get her all our dudes back up again. Valmir, please destroy the circle of destruction. <laughs> destroy the circle of destruction. Okay, sure, why not? And we'll occupy that. There we go. Malekith is removed. Lord of Korn. I feel like in seconds I'm gonna have to be fighting Alathanar, so it may just be like we're gonna be doing that soon. <laughs> that just might be where this this next lot of adventures is gonna be taking us. Serve or die. Slaughter begets rewards. We'll always remember you, human. Hmm. I feel like so for this one. I. Uh, I really gotta, I really just gotta keep pumping the, the, the Chaos Gladiator. Because my guy's got like, both, actually both of them have fire attack. So I'm just gonna like keep pumping that up. Yeah, so you guys, you guys just keep, you guys just keep being you. <laughs> and soon, and soon, you know, we may just send you over to like, beat up the... There's the underground sea lane. I was wondering where that went. I'm just like, a part of me is just like, 
I'm so gonna get like war decked by these by these like little skeletons. And I'm just gonna like keep going south, murdering my way down south. I'd love to know what Torox is doing. I just wonder what Torox is up to. He sure is boring in here. I wonder what Torox is up to. Like I could I could replace stuff, but I did just spend a lot of souls, so I'm not quite ready to like spend all of them. What about over here? No, not yet. Let's just uh let's just keep on keeping on. Well, almost got another uh another eye of the gods on me. Did they make training actually worthwhile or is it still a trap? I didn't know it was a trap. Am I an idiot? Argos Borfel <laughs> Am I am I a fool? Have I been have I pranked myself all this time? <laughs> oh no. Who the hell is this guy? I think I the Legion of Chaos, Demons of Chaos. I think this is the like, like the custom dude or whatever. Probably. All right. Well. Is fuck he... it. Fine. He was quite literally right, like, the first character on the list, so I think that is him. Well, yeah. He he was he, like like he's been at war with me for uh, for a while, and I just sort uh, sort of vaguely told one of my vassals to deal with him, and then I forgot about him. He just showed up again, as, uh, asking for a um, <laughs> for a peace treaty, and was offering to pay me seventeen hundred bucks for it. I'm just like, you know what? Fine. L uh, like you're a waste of my time anyway. I would like to know what Torox is up to as well. In all, in all honesty, um, chat member, it is <laughs> it is it's one of those things. I'm just like, he's definitely. Oh, okay. Um, he is he's also hanging out here. Uh, he just ran. Okay, he just. I'm just gonna. Like, I'm just gonna like quietly go around this guy. All right, all right. It looks like Torox is gonna take care of these problems for me, so I'm just gonna like head over here. Uh, there were definitely some ogres here. They are gone now. <laughs> uh, Toro Torox doesn't have much of an army left, but it's pretty obvious where uh, where they went. Okay, so now. Now that we've achieved this, I need to go take that goddamn palace, because that goddamn palace is important to my schemes. What are you doing over there? Okay, Sigvald, what are you doing over there? I am extremely he's... concerned about what Sigvald is getting up to over there. You yeah, always... he's just across the bay from me, and like he has an aversion toward me and everything, and I'm just, I'm just sort of like, you know what, I'm just... I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stay away. Just staying away from him. He has. He he has just invaded my territory. He's standing next to Harganeth, and it is Sigvold, and he's got a hell cannon, which is not that great uh, for me. And I've basically just given him one. I said, "Dude, get out. You're in my house. Get out." We'll see if he. We'll see if he actually follows through with that, or if he just keeps marching through my territory like an asshole. Uh, I'm gonna go with the latter. How many factions left? 163 and falling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we we have lost 120 factions since uh, so, uh since the game started. Give me anything less than unconditional. Like, I, that, of all of the things that they added in Total Warhammer 3, and I think that's one of the things that I like the most. It's such a small thing, but it really drives home exactly how freaking violent th uh, this world is. Hmm. Tor Torox was like, hey, defensive alliance. I'm like, no, you're going to get attacked by literally everybody. Oh, God. All right. Apparently, the, the beastmen have decided to attack the Hmong, so we'll see how that goes. I I've got to venture to guess it's probably going to go really bad for him. A specific region belonging to the Hmong is showing great devotion. Such unholy faith can be wielded to further your own ends. I could use them to reduce the construction costs for all of my buildings, but I'm not really doing anything like that. Oh, the Vassal can, can, can get a province development point. Alright, I'm gonna let him flourish. I don't know what the hell that even means. Okay, the, yeah. de the decadent host definitely just went LOL, LMAO, when I told them to leave. They are still standing next to Harganeth. So I'm just going to keep sailing towards Harganeth and be like, um, eh, squeeze me? Speaking of, Dargoth, are you allied at all to that guy? Are you friends? You've got trading packs with them. 
Oh, you're a vassal of the decadent horse. Okay. I might have to go to war with Slanesh. <laughs> I might have to fight. You wanna you wanna screw over if you wanna screw a uh, screw over the de of like the decadent host, you've got every permission from uh from me. Like, uh, like for whatever reason Sigvald doesn't like me very much, and I don't care for him either. Behold my wrath. Man, that's a nice ochre camp you've got there. It'd be a shame if someone walked up Unrelenting and stabbed your ochre camp. For no reason, for no discernible reason at all, just walked up, cocked a gun, and shot your gu Extend your guys. That destroyed your entire faction. Goodbye. <laughs> That's a nice faction you've got there. Be sure you're something happens. Remains of a sea leviathan. I have a great hoard of treasure may be received. All right, let's let's have a look here. Yeah, rogue pirates, decisive victory. These guys are complete chumps. Let's just do this. Replenish the uh, the army. Like that gets us basically everything back. On the war path. That got me six thousand bucks and a ether sword. Nice. So what's going on here? Oh. Torox just lost his lost his his thing. Kartep rolled over his uh rolled over his little monolithy thingy. Oh. Glad I didn't go in for the for the defensive pack. Torox mind mind you is going directly for his stuff too, so hopefully those two will keep themselves occupied and I can continue to not have anything to do with their dumb squabble because I'm about to go punch Sigvald. Because Sigvald will not get out of my house and I told him to get out of my house. I was all, hey, Sigvald, get out of my house. And he was like, oh, what no. are you going to do about it? And then I like, I picked up a very large rock and I hit him in the head with it. And he was like, I mean, I, I, feel, oh. like, I feel like that uh, that tone of voice is exactly the tone of voice that Sigvald would take with you. Um, God, you know what? Maybe I should build a manticore den. What about this one? What does it give us bonuses? Maybe I should build a horse barn. Maybe I should actually like settle off. Firstly on building the the vassal emissary. I don't think that's gonna get me much money though. Like how much money do you guys give me? Like what are you generating anyway? Three hundred and thirty vassals. Four hundred and thirty. Yeah, my vassals generate less than you'd think. Yeah, they're like giving me like 166 bucks. That vassal building's probably not going to get me much. <laughs> uh, so I really should focus instead on maybe building the horse barn and filling it with horse. And then maybe bankrupting myself very quickly because of my upkeep. Um, I feel like I don't need to upgrade that just yet. Let's just, let's just keep my money a little bit buffered. Because if I'm going to get into this fight, I'm going to have to, like... I'm going to have to, like, basically, like, beat up Siegfold as well as this other guy, if I'm going to take over him. <laughs> Sieg Siegfold's a, a slanish citizen, and that's why he doesn't respect my laws. Uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm a little upset by that, but, you know. I'm going to have to take him to Corn Court, and he's going to be like, uh, I think you'll find, actually, that according to uh, the Slaneshi citizen uh, Magna Carta of, um, of Carl Franz, uh, is like he's holding up a sock with, like, there's been scribbled on it, like, charcoal. He's going to be like, he's going to be like, I think you'll find that Corn is not actually a Chaos God, but a corporation, thus should not exist. Ooh. What? <laughs> your actions have drawn the attention of Korn, the angry and wrathful blood god, prove that you're worthy of his gaze. Until then, he shall grant you a bloody boon. Choose who shall benefit. And it's like, my legions, so everyone gets an experience gain bonus. My fortress, I could get another Shagoth. Uh, the, gift of, the gift of choice uh, would reduce everybody's activation. Or, if I, if I wound Valmir, who I believe is a general, uh, I can get the Bane Spear. Bodied by yeah. a chieftain for his tribesmen's souls, who then double cross the dark gods, this spear can banish their servants, is all that remains. Uh, plus 10 to corn corruption, 
plus 20 melee attack, enables magical attacks, plus 250 armor-piercing weapon damage, and has the ability the Bane Spear, which uh, which boosts your um, which basically just makes you do direct damage in an area, and like it's very good against like big clusters of units. And the person who wields it is unbreakable. Yep. So I'm just gonna yeah, let I... Valnir take a take an L and take a lie down for a yep. little bit. And uh, it's apparently a guy named Karn uh, I can choose from. Uh, I will probably like. Probably like put him in uh, in like in the standby area uh, later. So let's uh, let's get that bane spear that we just got. Yup. I I had a similar one uh, one when I when I got eye of the gods on me. Um, I wounded my uh, my sorcerer for a couple of turns and got an absolutely amazing slaneshi blade. Yeah. So I'm giving I'm giving the bane spear to uh, to Blimwin. Because if everything goes well, Slepnir will be in uh, Valkyrie's hands before long. This world offers so many Is anyone even in the Rakdu Gorge? I'm not even going to stop to find out. Exalted hero of Korn. I accidentally clicked Blimlin and made him leave my army, but that's alright. I'm pretty sure I can Move. actually get him to immediately rejoin again up here. I hate when I do that. Korn's gaze lingers around Making me. So now we just gotta go... Where did Sigvold go? Okay, Sigvold is leaving again. Now is chaos. Sigvold! Go now. Sigvold, why though? But why though? Could you not? Seems like he's... Seems like he's sort of scoping out the area while he like... He, he harasses Sporkticus, which I'm not really that okay with. Like, Sporkticus deserves to be treated with respect. Like, Sporkticus is a good boy, like, how dare you? So apparently if I take the Palace of Ruin, that only like suppresses the Hmong in the area. And so the Al the Argol tribe, which are for whatever reason over there, will... Oh, that's so weird. Anyway. Game apparently I've unlocked another like... Like, undivided thing I think. Let me just check it. Horrifying appearance. Oh, okay, so that just makes everyone get spooked. Okay, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Too spooky. Yeah. Isn't a Slaneshi blade phallic in style? Not necessarily. Sometimes they're just like whips, but they're swords. And sometimes, like in the case of Sliver Slash, it's just a, it's just a rapier. Yeah, so hopefully that'll. Hopefully I'll get like lots of money boosted from all those buildings that I can like finish, like because I really need the money. <laughs> like, game, I really need the money. Yeah, like. like... On one hand, uh, I'm really dying to, ha to have a second stack to uh, to uh, to accelerate <laughs> you're things. You're just bribing everyone. <laughs> On the other hand, like, uh, like I have so much, like, like I have so many, much use for uh, for this five thousand plus monies that I have coming in. Yeah, like I'm, I'm like, I'm like in the negatives. I'm hoping Valkyrie can get up there in time to like start fighting. Otherwise, this guy's just gonna have to go bother the Algol himself. On a somewhat related note. Dominate! Nice! You seduced him! Faction dominated. Yeah, it even told me that one. It, it says you fall- it said they fall into seduction. Actually, now I think about Very it, it's really unfriendly. I'm not, co not in contact with you. I think, I think what would happen if you started trying to seduce me. I literally can't on, uh, on <laughs> other Warriors of Chaos. Oh, okay, well that's good then. Yeah, I, like, uh, like, you're total- you're totally immune to that crap. Cause I ain't okay with that. Okay, initiate diplomacy. Like, I would, I would really like to have a trade agreement with uh, with him, but he still, <laughs> he still just absolutely hates me, even though I just dominated him. Yeah, he'll want to wriggle out from under you. Like, unless you actually hold like the dark fortress that that like he ascribes to, or like have him like suitably so weak he can't fight back, he will probably be a problem for you down the track. But I mean, of like. He he does he does have a um, he does have uh, have a a what is it called um, massive like of like uh, like of like positive relationship bonus to uh, to me now. It's just going to take a couple of turns for it to uh, for it to settle in. Yeah, fair enough. Bloody Zigvold. I no, I know. Looking at his stack of stuff, yes, that uh, that Karn, uh, who is eventually, I guess, going to have to have his own army and become Karn the Betrayer. Um, I, like that, that feels that that feels 
really like a gimme. Yeah. Um, he's going to have to... Why does he have so much Slaneshi authority? I guess because there's, like, Slaneshi corruption in this area? No? Why does he have so much Slaneshi authority? Like, Is what? Sigvald around? Like, I imagine Sigvald, uh, Sigvald kicks out a lot. Well, that's just really weird, because I don't think that affects my authority. Surely. They sort like... of jockey with position, uh, jockey for position, but they don't, like... Like, there's space for them to coexist. Yeah. I just don't see it from him. I just don't see that much in the region. It's like, it's it's 11 and going down, so it isn't that much. Whereas, like, my character's authority was, like, 6. So it's like, he could have, like, Suneshi units in his army, I guess, but I'd never be able to upgrade him. Probably wouldn't even be able to recruit them. Another, uh, like, Ostland ju uh, just declared war on me. Huh. Like, well, the Warriors... Whatever, guys. The uh, like... Bel Bel one, of uh, one of Bellicor's dudes has just rolled up to uh, to the, the port where uh, where Sporticus lives. Yep, uh, Torox just fucking died. Um... <laughs> I can't believe Torox is fucking dead. He's fucking dead, man. He was just there. He was alive. I saw him running past. And then all of a sudden, he was dead. And I don't know how to deal with that. I ain't, I ain't equipped. I ain't equipped for that kind of thing. Is anyone going to, like, build there? <laughs> the Gore Queen. Okay, she's almost there. I'm just not sure... I mean, I could like. What's your garrison like? Not really that great. If I wanna, if I wanna like, make the egg hole my my babies, I have to like, I have to take Slanesh's frozen city. I have to take Sigvald's frozen city. Um. I guess I mean, you I gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I'm just sort of thinking about how well, best to do this. I'm thinking I'm gonna have these guys start from over here. I think Valky's gonna be the one that has to fight Sigvald. She's still far too far away, but we'll get there. What are our objectives here when we do these things anyway? What's our overall victory condition? So you and I have to have over a hundred different settlements uh, raised or destroyed. And then there's like the personal ones. Short, long term, and then like Dominion. Yeah. Just gotta... I was wondering how much would uh... how much would rely on us being best buddies. But I think it's entirely possible for one of us to win and the other to lose if we're not in an alliance together. I think that, yeah, I think that's right. Which is fine. Like, we do want to run, like, a big game someday where everyone's just, like, actively messing with each other. Right, and particularly if we uh, if we have that idea for the great game... Yeah, the game great game game. That, uh, that, that, you had, uh, ...that you had, which I think is a fantastic idea. Yeah, it's one of those things you and I need to just, like, sit down when I've got, like, a day off and you've got a day off and just, like, like go through, like, all of the different things, like, people can do to get points for, like, mm -hmm. different factions... And now there's, like, Chaos Warrior Monogod factions we could probably, like, you know, have sit have teams. Teams of two. <laughs> that sounds like it would be fun. Non-aggression pact from the Goromandi tribe. Okay, sure. Why not? Destruction for all! Destruction for all, huh? Okay, still technically in Ohio here, I think. Yeah. If I go beyond there, we go from the realms of Ohio to the realms of, uh, Agol. Okay, I pull up. Run out at the after party. <laughs> I don't think Nordland Auto counts resolve as an after party. And you're <laughs> Nordland is not the after party. I mean... <laughs> Well, like, like the the empire the empire started stepping to me. They're now the after party after uh, after Nor uh, after Norska. Even 
even here, corn's fury is red hot. Okay, I need like. There we go. Another turn, and hopefully everything of like my money amounts will just like shoot straight up. I just freaking gave a uh, gave a gift of Slanesh to uh, to Rasputin. Awesome, I'm the <laughs> best. Oh god. No. It's so funny with everyone's chaos corruption in the area being so high. Like the only place like a chaos rebellion has spawned is like Sparticus's territory, the Cage Breakers. <laughs> So like like a a, a, ca a chaos rebel stack has spawned and uh, I have no idea where 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 Sigvald went. Now they'll see. Well, there's a little goblin named Tricky sailing away. I have no idea where Sporticus himself is. I'm sure it's fun. How's my research going too? Am I like? Yeah, one more turn I'll have the Skulls for the Skull Throne ability, which will allow me to get more Gifts of Chaos. Because I think, I think I can probably get away with activating another Boon of Chaos. Fun fact, Ohio is an Iroquois word for Beautiful River. Well, we're certainly giving beautiful red rivers. Frickin', there's a mosquito flying around, uh, around my area, and he is seriously pissing me off. It's a mosquito, of course, I've sent him to distract you. <laughs> Chip, chip, come on. And that natural, naturally, Chip is is acting like, uh, like really anxious because uh, because I'm like trying to crush it with my hands, and it it makes a clapping noise, and he's just like, "What is it? What's going on? I don't understand." Why is why is owner clap? Why is clap? Next. Why noise? Why noise happen? You're a good boy, pal. I'm just trying to crush a bug. You're a very good boy. Come in there and lay down. Come here and lay down. Come here and lay down. Oh boy. <laughs> Come here for the war. Stay for the mid-turn dog pacification. <laughs> this guy wants a trade agreement. Okay. Who even is that man? Another Norskin faction. Like, I should go check Quick Deal over here. I can get a non-aggression pact. I can get a non-aggression pact with uh, with Malice, okay. which I should definitely do. So here, here becomes the question now. Do I get myself like a one hundred and give all of my units blood greed? Or do I just maybe just look at getting some demons? I think I might just like get for now, just get some blood letters of corn as gifts, as regular gifts. And then um and then I'll be able to And then I'll be able to like get some more blood letters just here and there for Valkyrie. Cause she actually like lowers their upkeep now. Which I think is pretty good. So I can take the uh, the last Nor uh, Nordland Nordland settlement. It's a Pyrrhic victory, but I don't lose anybody. Yep. <laughs> can you vassalize them? <laughs> no, I can't vassalize them. Goodbye. Like, I can only Jojo. occupy or raise. Right, well, it's time to just you know, for the hell of it, start raiding. Uh... Actually, that. May not uh, not have been uh, been their uh, their last their last place. It didn't announce. Well, I on? mean, I I can't see him, so I wouldn't know if he even got announced or not. I guess. Yeah, hang on. Let me let me let me see if I can still see them. In okay, Empire. No, it says Nordland zero settlements. So I presume that uh, they will poof next turn. That's a relief, at least. Uh, none of these things are useful to me at all. <laughs> I get a cultist camp for wood, and I'm definitely give, uh, give, uh, giving this to uh, to a vassal. <laughs> like, like this is this is totally worthless to me. Be gone, vassal. Of okay, I'm almost, I'm almost there. I'm almost there, and almost ready to give uh, give Slanesh the slapping they deserve. Oh wait, you've already got you've already got a gift to Slanesh. 
you get a gift and you get a gift. I mean, that's exactly what uh, what I'm up to over here. Hmm. Just think about all the things I need to like. Things I need to get. Hey, a while and listen. Oh. Too many options. Too many options for research that are actually good. Usually it's like, you're like, oh yeah, I'll just grab that. That's that's garbage, but whatever, it's quick. And this, I'm like, literally like, oh, I could get this, but I could get this, because that unlocks this. It's just like, I haven't even got Chaos Chosen yet. Man, when do I... When do I need to, like, poke out for that? I'm sure it's on somewhere around here. Yeah, Rite of Ascension. Like, I haven't grabbed Rite of Ascension yet. I really should. It might, it really should be time that I just start turning some of these guys into, like, Chosen. Bringer of glory. But first, I gotta do something about my crippled finances. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm keeping down currently by raiding the enemy territories. You will die weeping. Like the sniveling Cartet, don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, oh, he declared war. Whatever, man. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna cause problems, and then I'm gonna turn right back around again. Like, you can, you can destroy those, those other territories. They're fine. They, they barely make me any money. Right? In fact, um, in fact, it, dare I say it, they make me no money whatsoever. So, like, you can slowly slap your way up those territories if you must. But I will be back for you, Boney. I will be back. <laughs> I want you to understand this. It will not be good for you. I will I will absolutely like put the squeeze on you. The Nordland is do is doing a last ditch attack on me. Classic. Classic Nordland. Archers. <laughs> Classic Portland. Crossbows. Here we go. It's a I'm trying. Like, like, like I, I just, I just seduced a, co a couple of dudes because, it, like, I don't want to do this fight. It's a fucking annoying looking fight, and I just don't want to do it. But if I auto resolve it, I'm gonna lose a, bun a bunch of marauders and some chaos trolls, which will actually be difficult to replace down, uh, down where I am. It's up to you. I can help and, you out if you want. Yeah, no, we're we're gonna have to fight the, uh, this one. Ju uh, just, just like, like it's gonna be stupid as hell, but I'm gonna have to fight this one. Stupid as hell is my middle name. Ugh. <laughs> oh, watch out, guys! They're sending <laughs> they're sending state troops at us. Yeah, like this is this is ridiculous. Like like this this is this is the dumbest thing I've seen in a while. But it's, apparently, this is a thing we have to do. Yeah, well, some of you dudes are so low in health, like, like it's understandable. Well, right, and that—that's basically it. Is that uh, that it is going to try to send all of those weak marauders in there first, and that will absolutely kill them. So I'm just like, all right, fine, screw it, whatever. Yeah. Oh, is. by the way, Throg is apparent uh, is apparently reinforcing us, so that's happening. Well, you can give me, th you can give me Throg. <laughs> I mean, he's probably going to be AI controlled. True. Like, I literally did. I didn't even yeah. see that Thro uh, that Throg was 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 reinforcing us. Yeah, he's uh he's coming in. He's coming in hot. That's actually he's a cool. chunky boy too. So you know, like he he brought like a real stack. All right. Yeah. Anyway, um. Me. What am I? What am I gonna? Uh, what Twenty-seven am I gonna, seconds gonna to arrival, by the way. So he's gonna be here and ready to go, like immediately. I'll give you all of the missile troops. Okay. Like, actually, give him the missile troops. I don't know what your problem is. All right. So you've got the way I see it is. Uh, 
the southern the southern enemies are directly going to be um punched in the face by throg until they die yeah they're gonna get throgged really quick so and the guys that are, they've got up the other end don't have a huge amount in the way of anti like anti me so what i will do is i will probably just have um my my horsemen annoy the absolute dickens out of them and have uh, and have the the seduced units just there, um, just to be pains in the asses as well. And I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you um, I'm gonna give uh, give you the some chosen warriors of Slanesh so uh, so you can you can tie up the, uh, those guys as well. Yeah, sure. Cause I so basically I can I can just like th th there's there's really nothing to to the south. Like I can I can just cause these guys. Sorry, to the north. I mean, there's nothing these guys can do to stop me. I'm I'm right, going, I'm going to prank them into oblivion, so yeah, no worries. I'm just gonna get, I'm gonna give you that. Like, like I'm gonna take these guys ba uh, back, and then I need the mirror guard, and I need all of the chaos trolls. Mortal fool. Okay, gonna do. Those two things, and then we're going to get Azazel over here, and then we'll take these Marauders, and that should hopefully be that. I'll keep I'll keep the um, I'll keep the Manticore in reserve, but yeah, we only need I need to hold out for like a minute, and then they're then they're gonna get throged. Yes, General. Marauder horsemen, bring carnage. <laughs> Charge them now. We want their eyes. <laughs> Wrong freaking target. Understood. Well, that's one enemy unit depleted. This is this is just fun. Frog here. Frog has arrived and he's pissed. The yeah, Throg just just sort of shot into the middle and uh and and swung a big hammer and that was the end of it. Like like there there was no there was no other conversation. Let me just use hysterical frenzy on Throg. There is no possible way that uh, that could end poorly for anybody. <laughs> one of the one of the dudes are like, "Hey, maybe we should march towards those guys with guns." Uh, it's going about as well as marching directly towards a bunch of guys with guns. It's like, Ever what? goes? Yeah. Weren't they on our side like five minutes ago? Oh well, I guess. I guess that's what happens. Well, you're as as a, uh, as quite the powerful as us. <laughs> oh, now that's beautiful. All right, short mission, good mission. Yep, that's Remember the way. When the Empire that's the wanted, way. The, wanted to use some crossbows. <laughs> yeah, they gave us one <laughs> and some guns. <laughs> Like, look, the guys with the handguns killed 47 people. I was like, <laughs> it's like the, you can't. The, the Azazel's face says it all. <laughs> oh, I know. 
I know who's being rewarded for fine work handling their blunderbuss. That's just, just fucking, just that face. I can't get over it. That like, <laughs> it, it, it is the, it is the shit eatingest grin ever, and I love it. It's like when, like when Monty Python would make fun of like really rich aristocrat British people. That's like how their teeth were. <laughs> like these little, these little pinched smiles, the teeth are jutting out, and these big rosy cheeks. Oh yes, we're out there. Yes. Mm. Yes. And Fierce Nordland lost again. Probably should have run him down. Oh well. Your dudes, no, I, I don't. I don't care. Like, your dudes will like, replenish. Theirs won't. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah, exactly. Oh no! The cage breakers is dead. Spartacus, no. Now, actually, like, like my, like. My entire, my entire air, uh, like, like, people, uh, dudes, uh, uh, army, that's what it's called, holy crap, is almost completely replenished now, so, let's go, <laughs> okay, bye. Well, I guess that's the end of that, then, uh, sh sorry to hear him go. Man, Sigvald just lurking on the fringes. If he ain't if he ain't here for a fight, then he's made like a grave mistake in like making me think he's here for a fight. Okay, Throg. Hey, sup? Uh, can I give you? No, I cannot give you the the places I just took from the Empire. Well, let you trade him. No, I won't let it won't let uh, let me like there's trade settlement and I can only give uh, give him maybe he's poor. <laughs> it might just be like he can't afford it. You're like, "Dude, I've got some land for it." And he's like, I, "I can't afford it for God's sake. Stop trying me, to make me, me get in your cryptocurrency though. schemes." <laughs> I I do kind of feel uh, feel like Throg would uh, would be exactly the sort of the sort of coin. person to get uh, get to, uh, to get, uh, <laughs> of, like, sucked up in an NFT scam. <laughs> no, if anyone, yeah, no, I, if, I, if I, anyone would fall for that, it's Kembla. Okay, also that. You're not wrong. Because you know why, right? Yeah, you can only tr uh, tr uh, trade settlements that occupy a border. Yeah, that's what I'm cause, finding. Because, let, let's, let, let's, let's be real here. Only a necromancer would get into cryptocurrency. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> we're walking away from that as hard as we can. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm too, I, I, I laughed. I, like, I thought rude. it was funny. I just went on to the next joke. <laughs> he just had to get away from it. Oh boy. Oh dear. Just making sure everyone's still awake. By making, All right, by, well, by making if this is the case, horrible. then I absolutely need Throg to do exactly what he's scheduled to do and attack Norden. So he ta uh, takes Ostland's stuff rather than me. Ostland with the Mostland. Yeah, I know it needs, I know it needs to be done, and... Yeah, <clears throat> we're gonna be uh, we're gonna just have to slap the ever-loving taste out of Sigvald's mouth. It's like that's basically just how this adventure is gonna have to end, I'm afraid. Cause he's sitting there. He's sitting there. He's just sitting there, staring at me from across the way, just going, "Yep." <coughs> Sorry, pun my cough. As a court necromancer, I wouldn't touch crypto with a ten-foot bone golem. But what about an 11? Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you want... I'm holding on. <laughs> um, I have an idea. I okay. have an idea. I have an idea. I don't okay. have an idea. <laughs> Damn it. I have no idea what your idea is or isn't. So... I'm trying to figure... Uh, like, because the, these things are freaking useless to me. Can I give one to Toddbringer? I can get... Uh, okay, so I can give... <laughs> Toddy! Land sale! Oh, thank God. Yeah, here you go. Here you go. Here you go, dude. It's Kazrak one eye in there. Your queen.
Okay, so I can give that to Todd Bringer. I'm gonna keep Dieter Schaffen for uh, for right now, because that uh, because that that gi uh, gives me a wharf. But yeah, I gave I gave S uh, Salzenmund or whatever back to Todd Bringer. <laughs> Sire, we've just received word that the lands have been returned to us. Oh yes, how'd that happen? Um, a, a very large pink man came and gave us the deed with the, with this with this, like a twin-headed snake tail, and Todd Bringer was just whatever, whatever, <laughs> just just put it. With the all answer the is don't think about it. Non fungible zinglings. God. Uh. There we go. Nurgle fungus Get toil. The on you. Yes, I, I like to, I like about Terrace videos about uh, about Todd Bringer being Alex Jones and yelling about rats and things like that. That always cracks me up. <laughs> How are you a supervisor? Like, I... oh, okay, just mo multiple in times in Mark's stance. Stance. Uh, I yeah. like anything that gives me more movement range, so I can immediately like just leap on Sigvald and start killing his dudes. <laughs> Makes me a happy boy. Oh, Ragnar Dowie Breaker, you've walked into my territory, you fool! S Sig oh, Sigvald, you absolute fool! You force marched into my territory. Now you fucked up. Oh god now damn it. You fucked up. The Jagged Horn tribe was still around and they attacked and they destroyed like a thing that's giving me no money. The Chill Road literally gives me nothing, so I'm okay with this. Alright, and just in time we got some ceremonious bloodshed to get involved in. Alrighty. I feel like we should drop a proper save here. Okay, Valmu's ready to take back his role in the army too, which is like really good timing, so let's let's just like get in there and like replace him. Sorry, Khan, you will be back, but Valmir, it's Valmir's army. I stabbed him to get a really nice spear, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna save real quick before we do anything else. Because we're about to we're about to launch on what's probably the worst idea of my life, but Can Valkyr reach him? He can. He forced marched, which means, yeah, this is bad for him. Sigvald, my friend. Uh this is war. This is, in fact, total war. Why did Sigvald just say, our master Korn rejoices? Sigvald, are you drunk? Yes, probably. I mean, that would scan. Well, whatever. He's, uh, he's now... <laughs> he's now stabbed. I'm going to, uh... Okay, so Valkyrie gets some uh, physical resistance out of that, which is actually really good. And a lot of other things, too. Bloomland's now riding a juggernaut. <laughs> The You're next. Go ahead, flee. Uh, I get plus 35% to my movement when you do. What are you doing? <laughs> Why'd you slow down? Such meager resistance. Behold my wrath. A bloodbath comes. Don't, don't you worry, buddy. As soon as I get like a fraction of an inch of movement more, you're in so much trouble. Also, I'm boosting Windmaker. My proficiency is oh, unsurpassed. I have place to spend on it. Armaments worthy of Valkyrie just continues to like <laughs> Valkyrie just continues to be great. Alright. Seriously though. Come closer Is so I might hit you with my sword. Anyway, let's continue uh let's continue to do a few things here. Oh no, not Ag Hall. Damn it. They're they're enraptured. I was go I was going to uh I was I was going to Enslave them in another five turns. Well, I've got some bad news for you. Um, I'm going to be taking their hold, so I think that might make them mine anyway. Womp, 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 womp. Because I got, I've got, uh, like, when I take out Sigvald's fortress, that's basically what's going to happen. It, like, it, it's not like I'm, hur I'm hurting for, uh, for options here, right? Like, of, yeah. like, the entire, like, the entire thing that I'm using my, uh, my heroes for. Is going around pu uh, putting um, putting gifts of Slanesh on people. So uh, uh, like the like the Vanheim the Vanaheimlings. Just going around uh, bad like, touching people. Yeah, I'm just bad touching people. 
and you know in another another five-ish turns or, or whatever like the vanna heimlings will probably be, uh, be about about ready for domination as well so like it's fine do you have a sword my friend you do not have a sword you can have the sword of battle it's for battling everyone's got stuff Get a lot of post-battle loot from Valkyra as well, which is uh, which is partially what's keeping my economy from collapsing under the weight of all of my buying two armies. Apparently, um, at least now I can spend money on that, and the game can stop bothering me about it. Welch is uh, apparently just going to go and build on the Chill Road, which is fine. If you're like you guys, like I. I don't care if I lose any of these territories because they make me no money. The only thing that makes me money are fortresses. And killing. Right. <laughs> and killing. Killing makes me a lot of money. Post-battle loot is ridiculous. Mistress yeah, I'm, I'm basically trying to figure out... Uh, I, sh I should probably ju uh, just go uh, Just go join the fighting over uh, over in, um, in Kislev. It's <laughs> always annoying. Like, because I... The, like Throg is about to Throg the uh, the last Empire fa uh, faction that uh, that was that was faffing around with me. Yeah, apparently just being near um, near Siegwald was giving me like Slaneshi authority, which is weird because I don't need it. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't need it. Yeah, you don't exactly use that crap. It's like it's definitely it's definitely a thing I have zero interest in. And the thing I gotta worry about is that big old stack of, of Norskin guys from Halthor Mammoth Rider. I'm gonna ignore, like, him and just, like, walk towards the frozen city and take it, and then they'll be subdued. But before that happens, I also gotta take the other Dark Fortress so I can have two Dark Fortresses and maybe an economy now. Yep, so Kartep is now starting to move along where I, where I beat up the dwarves. He's gonna start taking that. That's fine. Again, I don't get anything from those locations. <laughs> I just gotta turn around, come back, and kill him later. I may that may be Khan's job because I still wanna I, like you know after we kill after I take Sigvold, that might be it for the day. It'll depend. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I'm gonna need to, I need to get to bed before uh, before too much longer. But this is yeah. this is seriously just one more turn over here. Yeah. Alright, so, yep, lost that. Ambusher discovered. Don't care about the ambusher. Just gonna run straight at this guy. <laughs> He's running away from me. I crave the flavor of your fresh Please be close enough that I can just engage in, in, in mad, massive conflict with this stack of just, like, literally everybody. Auto resolve that. Everybody's fucking dead. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna suck down some order replenishment, some replenishment so that everybody keeps growing. Get the scarecrow banner up. Sword maiden of the blood god. Uh, you look tasty as well. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> uh, I should really put these on the units. Say, eh? put these on the corn boys. All right, there we go. All your friends are dead. All your friends are dead. I am your master now. There we go. Another magical sword. The Magister. The Gore Queen. Man, whose army is that? Hell follows me. Man, that's a hell of an army. There will always be blood. And uh, give her blade, blade shield. That way, she'll take a little less damage as well. I relish such power. Blimlin needs to grow up. <laughs> Blimlin, you need to grow up. I'm gonna give him a bit of defense as well, because he needs it. And can you reach the Palace of Ruin? You cannot. Not yet, anyway. Whatever. Lord, I only... I only controlled Nordland for uh for like one or two turns and the play Is like the entire province already us? looks like I took a giant purple <laughs> dump on it. <laughs> like, like, just I, your, I, I just, your cop to the I just universe. copped a freaking squat. Mm -hmm. This is just definitely this is definitely the joys that you bring to these people.
But yeah, the sheer amount of money I just got from that, like, act of violence as well <laughs> was kind of ridiculous. Like, the sheer amount of people that just died to, like, to keep my economy going. We're down, like, 150 people now. Like, 150 factions. That's wild. <laughs> 149 now. Somebody else kicked the bucket. Whatever. People keep dying. Okay, the Jagged Horn tribe. They're just continually running around being problems to everybody, but I really don't care, guys. Beastmen.txt. Yeah, like, as long as you're not, like, taking my my Dark Fortress. I was like, I am. My ambivalence is supreme. Behold my wrath. Alright, so let's just camp the Frozen City for a little bit. Because, well, I could take it. I'm gonna. It would cost me two hounds. I'm gonna continue the siege for a Spill second here. I need Valmir. Valmir, can you take this place out of curiosity? You can. Okay, I'm gonna auto resolve that. We're gonna occupy that because we need we need the money that we secure from this. All right. Oh, cool. And we get uh, we get some some cultist camp spice out of that. <laughs> sure, why not? Right. Uh, a little bit of growth. I've, I've, I've heard dumber things. God, I've said dumber things. Um, and now, huh. now that we've done that, I can have Valkyr just stop, end stop, this stop. with a with a Pyrrhic victory. It will only kill my dogs. For corn. And by doing that, I should hopefully make the Argol behave Dominate. themselves as yeah. well. Uh, okay. Apparently, I got myself a new Hell Cannon. Also, apparently, I'm still at war with them, apparently. But definitely haven't killed the Slanesh. Slanesh still exists, it would seem. So, I'm not sure, not sure what that means. I mean, he's got a lot of territory that way. So maybe they hold another, maybe there's another fortress that's also required for that, and they hold it. But that's fine, I can keep killing my way over to, to, you know, wherever we need to go. This is this is only the beginning of, like, the killing. Um, yeah, we're still not going to get much out of that. Where's your path to glory going? Win five battles. <laughs> hmm. So we're finally getting money, so that's good. Back, back, back in the lands of profit again. All right, deadly onslaught. Don't really care so much about the rest of those abilities, so I'm gonna like. Rasputin is just screaming in my ear. Gifts for the champion. <laughs> Bless for me! Bless for me! Like, all right. It's like, no I thanks, I just um, ate. How about you chill out? For the record, Blimlin's weapon strength is 828. That's disgusting. He's he's my best and brightest boy. Alright, well, you know, we've lost the dogs. The dogs have passed away. But you know what we can get instead? I demand Two bloodletter units. That's like dogs. <laughs> That's like having a dog. Two, having two units of really angry bloodletters of corn. Sure. What else did I unlock? God's sakes, game. Uh, it wasn't that. Was it must have been must have been corn related. Ah, uh, yeah. Apparently, the skull cannon. That's got like 750 per turn. I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> I feel like if I've got enough armies smashing around everywhere, then that's that's it. But yeah. So yeah, I've still got a lot of. Still got a lot of problems to fight. What about that guy? Elfric Kraken's son. I'm pretty sure I could take him in a, in a fight. Reforged for murder. And let's go back to Ironfrost Glacier, because now I can like build that up without having to worry about the cost. Alright! <clears throat> so yeah, there's gotta be a second one as well that the Argol like the Argol answer to.
which is fine. Like okay, so Rasputin is atta <laughs> uh, is attacking me. That well, it's that might have been all a... screaming. Yeah, it's a pyrrhic vi uh, it's a pyrrhic victory, but I don't lose anything. So I'm tempted to just like take the auto resolve because uh, <laughs> like it's almost two a.m. I'm just yeah. gonna do that. Yeah. And I'd say, you know, we've, 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 we're in a good sort of spot here. There's going to be a lot going on. Once this turn ends, we might save it. We might end it here. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I just, I, I just, oh, took the, I just took the W. Well, there is a twist I wasn't expecting. Mouse Dugway just uh, appeared to take back our grave. All right. <laughs> like, like power to him, I guess. Wow, that was a, that's a comeback I wasn't expecting. I have to do something about him, I guess. Once I deal with, like, all the other shit. Oh, uh, yeah, and there's me losing more of my holdings in the south. Again, I don't care. <laughs> like, like he's taking stuff that was, like, literally, like, worthless to me. It was doing nothing, so. But he is slowly making his way up, so I guess there will be a reckoning at some point. But not today. And probably not next week, either. Because, like, next week, I'll probably be playing, like, just doing a stream of the SD Gundam battle game. I can't even remember what it's called. That's it a good game. Looking forward to that, dude. Yeah, it comes out. It comes out tonight. Um, I suspect. Uh, yeah, I still got. I still wow. Like Malice Darkblade outlives Malekith and gets his own house back is like the twist in the tale I was not expecting. But yeah, that's uh, that's it for now. Uh, I would say, uh, cool guy and I have certainly inflicted a significant amount. Well, it's kind of funny. You look at the sheer amount of territory I've been around, the sheer amount of deaths there have been, and it's only been 49 turns. And it's still only Nagaroth. Like, and it's still, like, not even all of it. So, like, this has been a fun learning experience. I think what's probably going to happen is once we stop streaming, I'm going to play my Rapans run. <laughs> 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 I'm probably just going to boot up, start playing Rapans, and just look Scarbrand in the eye from across the, the, the Southlands and go... You fucking dead. I'm going to stab you in the crotch. It will hurt. And, and coming um, for you. <laughs> and it's like ominously like about to sip a grail. Take the grail vow. <laughs> Rapan's doing that. Well, she's still got the sword in her other hand, but she's like doing the finger point while still holding the sword. And just being like, <laughs> You just wait. I am coming for you. You will not like it. Anyway, thank you, cool guy, for joining me, taking the time out, and also taking your like tanking your sleep schedule again for my sake. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and thank you for the raid. Thank you for everyone coming to watch violence. Uh, it is always a treat to play video games for people. And yeah, next week uh, we'll play some Gundam. Um, we'll probably try and finish off Cult of the Lamb at some point as well, and then. I don't know, whenever Cool Guy and I can fit time in for this, we'll we'll try and play more of this campaign, because I love this game yeah, so much. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this has been a fun-ass campaign. We, we have to come back and keep killing everybody, and, and everybody, yep. forever. So yeah, thank you everybody, and I'll see you all next week. Take care, friends. <laughs>